always making sure that I know what's going on with the countdown is the hardest thing about this. I can. <laughs> that was going to be a mystery guest. Besides the nope. fact that your screen is labeled, still <laughs> we could have gone that direction. So it's here's the thing: me. I don't know whether to look at you because yeah. you're up there on my screen, or if I yeah. should pretend that I'm communicating with everyone through this mirror. That it was the <laughs> highest tech I could come up with to have picture in picture for this uh, unboxing session. It's a good look that I'm about to do. So for anyone who hasn't seen. Force 5 or Open Chat. So Force 5 is a show I do where I have guests on. We talk about their top five Star Wars collectibles. We go through it. We have a discussion about them and collecting. Deep conversations. Wonderful fun. Uh, what Open Chat is, this is me after a few years of a thing that's happened over the past couple of years, which which meant that I started accumulating Star Wars figures as uh, uh, for emotional wellness. And I've accumulated a lot of Star Wars figures. Mm -hmm. And I used mm -hmm. to be a person that would just open Star Wars figures. It was fine. I would open everything. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Then I had a guest on Force 5 who is a wonderful person who has uh, an appreciation for leaving these things boxed as pieces of art to appreciate, yeah. which yeah. I, I understood and loved that concept. And I started not opening the figures that I got. It got to be too many. I can't yeah. store these things in their unopened state. So I figured I would need to start an, uh, start opening these things. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many of them. So I thought, why not make a conversation out of it? So I'm having guests on as I open up. Oh, as I open my toys, I'm having yeah. friends on to talk about things. So It's an excuse to help you through your problems, right? Yeah, yeah. That's this this is a, a, a kind of therapy. Uh -huh. For for me, for maybe my guests, I don't know. <laughs> Speaking mm -hmm. of, Patrick Cutler, welcome back. You were on Force 5 before. My Jar Jar fell down. I'm going to move Jar Jar right. back. Oh, no. uh, uh, <laughs> we had a wonderful conversation, wonderful episode. Uh, folks, uh, I hope, again, because it uh, was one of the linchpins of mm -hmm. these past couple of years, know you mm -hmm. from the uh, the beautiful circus that is the George Lucas talk show. Yes. Yes. That is, uh, that's probably my, my most known for credit, right? But and you were a producer of a great many other things yes, and yes. live shows that people, if they live in the LA area or outside the LA area can now attend. Yeah. yeah I do, uh, uh, every Sunday at dynasty typewriter here in Los Angeles, do a, uh, improv show where famous people come in and tell stories from their life. And then, uh, world-class improvisers do scenes based off of that story. It's called untitled improv project. And you can come in person or you can stream it. And it's uh, very fun and very silly. One of which was uh, another previous Force 5 guest and Star Wars collector, Bobby Moynihan. True. Yeah. He's a, he's a regular at this point. Um, so that is going yeah. well. Yes. Yes. It was it's a successful fun. launch. It's been fun. Oh. Yeah. Got to keep getting butts in seats. You know, that's the hard part. And you're all over the world now with the George Lucas yeah. talk show. You were virtually all over the world prior to this. Yes, yes, but now physically. We just uh we did two shows in London like a week and a half ago or something like that. I'm currently I hear editing a thing one. that made it uh, a good reason to go over there at that time and do the show. Yes, yes. We were there's the same weekend as Star Wars celebration. So it was a good excuse to uh you know, get those people who were there for that show for the convention to to come to our show. But it's um it was it was fun. It was a lot. It was a lot, and I'm I'm editing the second show right now. Hopefully, it'll be up in a, in a couple of weeks after May the fourth. So everyone first should show, subscribe. First show was weird. First show was very weird. I'll say that. <laughs> I don't think you've not done a show that wasn't some factor of weird. It wasn't weird because of us. <laughs> <laughs> I will That's say weird. it's not always you as well that make That's it true. weird. Uh, yeah. You um, you somehow uh, you sometimes have guests that come to play, and you sometimes uh -huh. have guests that suddenly break down, or look guests that are playing on a different field that the rest of us don't want to play on, but they don't understand that, and they keep playing on their field. You know, it so, it all it's all about play. It's all about play. <laughs> That's what we always tell people. It's all about play. Uh, yeah. Also, we should highlight. Hey, Red Light Inc. 
Uh, uh, so yeah, if you see any comments, I don't know if you have the uh, the live screen open. If you see any comments, yes, yeah. sometimes I miss them as I'm right. catching. I will let you know uh, on these openings. So as we're going to do with this this opening session, yeah. uh, you I let you choose which era of Star Wars figures we would be doing, mm -hmm. and the and era you chose the best. You chose the best. It in many ways I believe is the best era. I think when so. When it comes for the diversity of characters, yeah, the sculpts and the paintwork, a lot of things yeah. were hitting really well. Yeah. Uh, you chose these 2002 to 2004 uh, saga collection, which also included yeah. the Attack of the Clones line. Yes. And you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna change my shirt in honor of this. Hang on one second. Yep. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna explain to everyone. So I have a a, a big stack of figures cocooning me right now yeah. and i'm going to randomly pick from these stacks so and we also have uh, different tracks we can take with what we open tonight yes and i will be wearing my 20th anniversary of attack of the clones jacket that was purchased at celebration last year uh, yep star Wars celebration last year uh this year i bought my 40th anniversary uh return of the jedi jacket and it costs probably forty dollars more <laughs> because inflation, the pound. What was it? Don't know. Don't know. It, look, why isn't? Why don't you? Where's your big Dexter's Diner neon sign from last year? Why isn't that I, hanging I, in the background? I bought one for Griffin. I did not buy one for me. I said, Has I Griffin even hung it up yet? Probably not. Probably not. You well, bought look, him set I mean, dressing, and you're not even doing shows from home anymore. Well aware. Look, but I've got my action figures in, in casing me too. There's some over there. There's some up there. There's a pigs in space all the way over there. There's a oh, Jar Jar yes. down yeah. here. There's an Alf up here. There's an R5D4 right here. We've got Is that some the new more NECA Nekas. Elf. It's the new NECA Elf. We've got a Xenomorph. We've got Ash. Uh, we've got all the NECA Universal Monsters. We've got the Super 7 2001 guys. Got the Neko Weird Al. We're all it's all over the place. All over. Yeah, place. Well, and as you can see from my desk, also uh -huh. all over the place. Oh look, I'm I'm very jealous. I'm always very jealous seeing what and you're. Speaking unboxing. of Dexter, there's there's Dexter right there. Now, I, should we say I was looking for him a couple minutes ago? And, you, and did you find him? Or did you not find, find him, him until I pointed him I, out? I oh, have your Dexter. You have the yeah. same Dexter figure, right? I have a giant box of figures that are unopened. And I have no idea where the hell they are. And it's crazy because this apartment is not that big. And I don't know where they are. But I have a box of probably like 15 or 20 figures that are unopened. Are they, are they in the linen closet? Do you have a crawl space? I've looked in all the closets. That's why Do you I'm have an attic me. space that you would have shoved them in? Be, now I'm concerned it got lost somewhere. You know? I mean, at the very know. least, we're going to have to replace that Dexter. Like, you can't not. I, we should start opening. We have a lot of opening yeah. to do. So yeah, let's do it. And we have the option with this, and I'm going to let you choose for each one. We yeah. can go, because of the way the Saga Collection worked and how how yeah. weird, when they released Attack of the Clones concurrently with original trilogy figures. Yes. Sprinkled yes, yes, into yes. the line. So we can nice blue, I'll let you choose. A nice blue piece of cardboard back. It, in, it, was, it was, as far as packaging goes, probably the most generic and boring yeah. that they've yeah. ever been. It was sure. not the golden age for packaging. It is not the yeah. vintage collection with its beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. retro Kenner photos. Yeah. It is just yeah. Star Wars logo and some hands holding a lightsaber. Sure. So what would you like to do first? Attack of the Clones or original trilogy? I think, it's, I think Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. We're going to start with this one. Uh, it's a good one. I had that one. So this is Pat Mayamadala Arena Escape. So also in this era, because I guess plastic was so much cheaper and so were these figures, they had yeah. huge accessories that yeah. came with this line. This was a good line. I feel like they did every character in Attack of the Clones. Like as much as they make fun of like other lines having like obscure characters, I feel like Attack of the Clones got every single person you could want. You want a Tuscan female? You got it. You want a Tuscan kid? You got it. You know? Anyone who was in that the bar on Coruscant, you got it. No, it went, it was right off the bat, like we're gonna go super obscure. We're not yeah. gonna just gonna give you main characters. We're gonna give yeah. you half a second on screen. Yeah. 
but right but right off the bat they're going to be in these waves you're going to world nope. build the heck out of this yes now ken i got a package in the mail today and i opened it up and i didn't know what it was and guess what it was some figures should oh, yeah. I open them right here? Oh, I think you should open them. I want to see your opening nope. style compared to my... Because nope. I'm still saving the cards. I am saving sure. the cards for these. For sure, sure, sure. Now, it's not Star Wars, but it's close. It's Star it Wars adjacent. Matter. It well, isn't everything, really. Oh. We got a little Marion Ravenwood. Now, I don't, I don't love these figures, but I felt like if I didn't get them, I would be upset. You know? Um, I mean, was it about the figures then, Mike? Or was it about something else? Were you an alibi? <laughs> <laughs> and yet I Mike doesn't have any of those figures still. I thought you were talking to me for a second, and I was like, my name's not Mike, but I'll go with it. <laughs> I'll Again, go with that. You, you've been in the improvisation world for so long now. <laughs> yes, you can't and... not. Yeah. Well, my middle name's Mike, so I could have come up with some excuse. All right, here we go. Here we go. So I bought most of this line. I did not buy the Belloc in ceremonial garb, and I did not buy the Indy because they were not available on Amazon when I Okay, when so I it's got not them. like you would not have bought them. It's just that they were not well, available. I didn't love the that Belloc was in the ceremonial garb. I sort of wanted regular Belloc, which I did pre-order when it just came up. And I felt like maybe there was going to be a better indie, um, but I also, <laughs> I, but I want to build the full arc. So now I feel like I have to get this, this indie, um, and the spell off. All That's right, how they get go. you. Okay, so we got. He's wrapped up in paper, and the paper has like a the Indiana Jones map on it. All right, here we go. Also, before I toss this, quick draw action. Look at that. What more could you want? Um, okay. Now we will take the accessories out. Okay. Now Marion comes with a frying pan. She can bop people on the head with. And put that in her hand. But she also comes with a little Nazi monkey. Not only a little Nazi monkey, fully articulated little Nazi monkey. Fully articulated little Nazi monkey. Now do you feel better about the price? <sighs> no, I don't. Also, don't. look at this action figure. This has an action feature. This was the other thing that marked yeah. this line at the time. Yeah. yeah. But they look at that it. pose. I mean, it's a good figure. It doesn't... I guess it kind of does look like her. It's not a. It's not a bad sculpt. No, it is still in the era, though. She does have those abs that uh, Padme does not have. <laughs> Let's see if I can. My. Uh -huh. It's. She it is not. Abs. Yeah, it's. Awesome. It's not a bad. Yeah, it's not a bad sculpt. No. But they've never really done a great Natalie Portman sculpt in yeah. any of the eras. Yeah. Does she? Are there Padme Black series? Not really. Right? There's one, one they put yeah. out, which is in the uh, uh, pre tear arena guard when she still has the cape. Sure, sure, sure. Which is not bad, I would say. In the vintage, oh, this I'm just gonna toss it there. Just that'll keep her standing up. <laughs> yeah. Now it looks like she was hiding in the column, <laughs> and has broken her way out. You want to go Attack right. of the Clones again, or original trilogy? I think we're going Attack of the Clones as long as we can. That's going to be so long. Speaking of the arena uh -huh. battle, we got Sase Tin. Ooh, okay. Jedi now we're talking. Master. There she is. With a her. fire effect? Because I guess that's... Sure. Famously, the fire Jedi. Um, all right, let's put... Marion on. Oh, weird. The the. I gotta get good. Um, I don't have good um, bases for these guys. And weirdly, the holes, the peg holes for the base are in the front of her feet, which feel bizarre. They are weird. They're not 
bad when it comes to stability on the shelf. You yeah. can get poses with those. Yeah. Well, all right. I guess I un I unboxed it. I guess I got nothing else to unbox. Oh well. <laughs> that was the only one that came. Was oh well. I guess got that's it. Oh well. I guess that's it. Just kidding. I got tote too. Oh. Just kidding. Is that the only tote you got? Because at some point I could I could open a tote too. Now I'm not a big three and three quarter guy. I'd rather have the six inch. Yeah, but this is the you know the retro classic Kenner. I know, but here's the thing: I don't have, I don't have the nostalgia for those. No, but you do have the ability to just raise his Nazi hand on your shelf. I guess that's true. Which is a weird action feature to a have weird, in, the, in these days. Yeah, especially in a time where I feel like they're avoiding making uh, the the Nazi figures for Indiana Jones. Because they don't want to have them in the outfits, you know. I'm actually surprised that they re-released the German mechanic, but he doesn't have anything outwardly. Yeah, I hope you get a six inch of him. I imagine you will at some point. Right? I mean, that's the problem you have, and people have remarked upon it with the Indiana Jones line. When you sit back yeah. with it, it's just a lot of middle-aged white guys in suits. Yeah, if, but, if you don't look, have anyone I to. Oh, but you have no idea how excited I am to get that Walter Donovan figure. You have no <laughs> idea how excited. I already have a General Veers. <laughs> Are you going to get both? You're going to get am. both. I am going to get both. Oh, oh, man. I didn't realize his hat was not on. And I like him not having his hat on. I think that's fun. Also weird to think that he went from playing Tote to playing the president in Buckaroo Banzai. Yeah. And he looks nothing like Tote. What's his... I know nothing about him. What's his deal? Do you know anything about the actor? Ronald Lacey? Ronald Lacey, yeah. I think he was just one of those working character actors Yeah. in that period who, you know, got a, got a great luck out with getting Indiana yeah. Jones. Yeah. And arguably, that's the reason that we know his name to this day. Sure. Because I think he passed away shortly after Buckaroo Banzai. He had, he had cancer? I believe so. To me, he was always like, sort of like the Chris Lotta. Sure. Now, I like keeping the jacket before. on, but having the melting head. I think that's fun. Because he's like still formal, but his head is melting. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, it's, you know, yeah. you can have oh, wait, melting up top. But business, business below. It's true. Now here's more fun. Keeps the little hat on, but his head is melting. <laughs> Put it on a like jaunty that. angle, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> here's, here's, it's sort of falling <laughs> off the back. It's giving him a lot of forehead. Well, now he looks like he's a boy reporter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will say this about this era. Yes. They did these action poses that they're yeah. frozen in, much like the yeah. Power of the Force 2 figures. So yeah. it was a step backwards when it comes to that. Sure. So I will dock them for that. Uh -huh. uh, but, but they probably stand up a little bit better. They do if you find the sweet spot, because they're made yeah. for that one single position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi, Jedi, uh, Je Jedi, Jedi Starfighter pilot with slashing lightsaber attack. Because the thing I remember from him piloting <laughs> is being able to slash with his lightsaber. So this is like Django fight on Camino, right? Yeah. So he so he's got the little uh, headband. The little, yeah, he's got the Britney Spears thing. Uh, why weird. didn't that take? Why wasn't that an accessory you could buy? You don't think it was? I'm sure it was. I don't remember it. Now, here's a problem with this tote. So his right like hand luggage. <laughs> so his right hand fits the gun, but also his right That's... hand is the burn hand. Yeah. So you I want to put the gun. I chose poorly. 
It's a good joke. So what are you going for? Are you going for the because he he does look good with the pistol hand sort of peeking out from behind the coat. Yeah, I think I'll probably go for the coat with the tote. That's probably what I'll do. I just you know, I sort of made a personal decision for mine where oh it's it's a nice reference to the film, but I don't want a figure on my shelves just permanently doing that salute. Yeah, of course. That's, that's just, that's just for, for what, what you want choice? displayed in your home. Just not a choice. It's a very weird choice. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I liked these figures more. I I, I don't think the likeness is great on a lot of them. No. The, no, the solo think... one doesn't look good. The There's likeness, I think, it's not aided by the paint. Like, the face printing, yeah. I think this is the first time the face printing sort of fell down Yeah, on these and makes them look less lifelike. Yeah. And more mannequin-y. Sure. Mannequin-y, mannequin you mean. Mannequin, you're tearing me apart. <laughs> I mean, but it's a fun... Look at him. He looks great. He looks fun. He's having a it's good a, time. I feel bad for complaining about what is light years beyond any action figure of we had course. as kids. Of course. Oh, I almost well, threw, threw this away. You see Not very tiny in here is his tiny little communicator. Oh, wow. Awful. Um, I mean, here's the thing. The one that you're opening right now is the one that I had as a kid. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Now, what adventure? Did you throw this away? Did you remember to take out his tiny little? I don't. I don't think I had that figure. But uh, 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 Attack of the Clones was. I didn't get uh, Revenge of the Sith toys. Attack of the Clones was like the end of the toys for me. Oh, this is um, so thick. It's like a washcloth on them. Yeah, here's the thing. Anytime I'm not a big uh, real fabrics on toys guy. I don't think they ever really look great. Um, They're getting sort of, better. Yeah, I know, but it's just... I don't know. It well, sort I, of held me back from going for, like, Sideshow stuff, just because it's... The Sideshow it, stuff... Yeah. Well, Hot Toys does well with yeah. the draping of the fact. Because yeah. you have to find a way to scale down the weave of the yeah. fabrics. Or else it yeah. just you know lays like a washcloth like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they've been getting a little bit. What the heck is up with his hand? Is it busted? It's supposed to attach to something. Oh, there's some kind of feature. I don't know. That's that looks cancerous. He should get that checked out. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Something's going on in that hand. Okay, uh -huh. we're gonna we're gonna lay him down with this thing that I'm clearly going to lose before this night is over. Yeah. And that's uh, okay. And we got the lightsaber with the flare. This yeah. era of it. Yeah. I guess it's supposed to be a more action-y lightsaber. They loved it. They loved adding those little things. They um, also love this throwing in things we never saw. So this is actually an episode one figure released in the line yeah. for something we never saw. Sith training. Huh. With lightsaber battle action. He comes with the little uh, scout droid. Yeah. Oh, so I don't think I have the Anakin Skywalker Tatooine attack, which just shows him uh, just wailing on the, the Tuscan's cookery. Yeah. Like cook pot and... It is funny thinking of all of the Tuscan stuff that they put out. You could honestly like recreate that camp. If you like bought all of the Tuscan figures, all of the Tuscan Have related they done the hut, the things. tents. I'm sure they did. I bet I know they've done banthas. They put yeah. banthas out. I have a bantha, yeah. With its uh, real feel hair. Uh huh. Uh huh. That was a you good line. Those ones where they would put out the big figure with the little guy. Like there was a Rancor, a Dubak, a Bantha, Jabba, a Tauntaun. Um, yeah, what was the what did the Jabba come with? The um, Ronto. The Ronto, yep. I had all of those. I still I, I mean they're in my closet still, but 
so have you reclaimed everything? Because when we did when we I, recorded, yeah. you were waiting yeah. for uh, reclaiming everything from your parents' house. Yeah, I believe I have everything, or basically everything, including this goddamn box that I don't know where it is. <laughs> How can you now? I mean, this has at least you said what about fifteen figures? That's not a small box. It's a big box. That's why I'm confused, and I'm concerned that it's. Wouldn't you have noticed if it was missing, though? When was the last time you remember seeing it? I thought I moved with it. Give me, give me five minutes. Let me do another round. Let's see what's under my couch. Well, he's looking for. Does anyone in the chat have any questions? Uh, uh, also, okay. this comment could apply apply to anything we've discussed so far. Yeah, it's not <laughs> under my couch. Do you have a garage? Do you have an outdoor storage space? A shed? Don't, don't, I don't. I'm looking in this, this Do you have cabin. a neighbor you could ask in a pinch, like, can you hide this for me? No. This has an action feature. This feels metal-y. It's not metal, though. Is saber blade. Oh, this is not going to hold that at all. I'm assuming this was based on some kind of concept art that we never saw. It does have the weird action feature. Oh, he probably shouldn't hold his blade like that. They love doing that, though. They love just putting out... There's like some... Um, there's like some Obi-Wan Jedi training ones that are based on concept art, and it's just very... Uh, and they did like a Snow weird. Gear one, too, didn't they, in the standard line? Yeah. Not animated. Yeah. It was just it was just a weird era. Yep. Well, we got Sith training. Uh Darth Maul out. Let's move to Barris. Did he find it? I figured out what happened. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Oh, I hear the sounds of struggle. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> okay, at some point post-move, I must have combined boxes. Oh, so you put the... You're open so I, and I, unopened. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Like, like a person we... who's moving and, and settling in would do rather than... It wasn't, even unopened and, it wasn't even open and unopened. I took all of my unopened and put them in here. The open ones are in a different box. Okay, so here we go. I recognize that green. Oh, I mean, you got to start with Dengar, right? We got Dengar. We got Porkins. Oh. We got Malakili. I mean, what are you opening first? Let's, let's save surprise. Are you going to open those? Oh, oh am I going to open them? Well, that's another question. That's a whole yeah. other question. Yeah, so let's talk about that. So uh, have you kept these sealed for the novelty of being able to have these figures? Now, these, sealed? These, these came in... Someone's dad was like cleaning out their garage during COVID. Right. And they said, you can give away a bunch of toys uh, to your fans. And I said, well, I'll give away some of them, but I want some of these. So I have kept them. There's no real reason they have stayed sealed. Um, except this one. This is the only one that I've kept sealed. This is... Uh, this was a mail-away exclusive, I guess. And it's... Qui Gon on the EOP. Oh, yes. What's um, the Warner Brothers? Oh, is that the note from the person that sent it to you? That's just the note. Okay. But I think it's also Korean, maybe this one that I got. Because it has that, a bunch of like. That one I do not have. And I believe they did two. Wow. They have that version, I think, was boxed. And they later yeah. did it as a mail away in the late 2000s. Oh, sure. As, a, as an incentive. I think this one has got to be from 
99 But now you can open that and put your, your old Ewan McGregor figure on it. Sure. And paint sure. that Qui-Gon blue <laughs> and have him just walking beside him, snarkily <laughs> taunting him about how long he took to get his crap what? together. Now, I don't know why I don't want to open them, though. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this freaking guy. I mean, at the very least, that's got to be in your kitchen, right? That's got to be like something yeah. that sits on your shelf by your I spice think, rack. I think the thing is, and maybe you're not the best person to talk to about this. <laughs> I already have enough figures around my house, you know, that I'm like, uh, uh, do I want to add more to them? Who are you trying to impress with restraint at this point? What do you? I got I to gotta, I gotta meet a lady, Ken, you know? She may appreciate it. She may, but she's also maybe like. Also, oh, you you're dates? the guy who has like a, you know boxes of this stuff hoarded around too. So well, what are, in, you know, you're making an impression in either way. They're in closets. You don't see them. It's when either the in why do you have so much of this stuff? And this is anyone. This is not just a yeah. potential yeah. Uh, uh, romantic yeah. partner. This could be friends also judging you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going either why do you have all this stuff on display, or why yeah. do you have all this unopened toys around? What's the point of? Well, this? now we were also talking about this before because I did open up another box where I thought these were, and I pulled out some other stuff that were also unopened, and it was some Palisades Muppets guys. Those just for would. your own personal joy and well-being. Uh, granted, you know, the prices on those, if you're looking at an investment. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I bought them because I they didn't have too school. fun not to enjoy those They're figures. so good. And I have most of them open, but most of them stay in my closet just because I don't have space for a lot of them. But, um, but it's Fozzie but, Bear. But it's Fozzie. But now here's the thing. Here's the reason why these specifically are... Uh, are, are still boxed up. I have basically this whole line, pretty much the whole line, except for Fozzie and Scooter and like a couple other ones, but I didn't really want the other ones. And I know that once I open these, I will have no more left to open. And that makes me sad. But you have two of them. I do. So well, I have two. Them. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I, I have two of them, but then I also have... And this one probably will knock it open. I, I have noticed before put, in this Attack of the put. Clones line, I think they yeah. uh, did the vac metalizing on the lightsaber hilts. Oh, interesting. On these. So now look at this guy, Ken. Now, see, gonna... now I, I also have that Super Grover. Now, did you get that when it was released, or was that an eBay purchase or gift a, later? This was a COVID eBay purchase. So I have mine sent to me by Palisades. Yeah, yeah. At the time. Yeah. Uh, my promotional one for review, uh, yeah. which actually is the way I got pretty much that entire line, thankfully. Sure. Uh, and it was so exciting to hear their talk yeah. of all the plans for all of those future it makes Sesame me so Street sad figures. It makes me so sad. And I had uh, so I uh, recently refound my Super Grover. It had uh, yeah. become lost in my end of Raiders like attic. For a you while. don't say. How is that possible? Yeah. Though? It's weird, isn't it? So, I reclaimed it. Yeah. But then I had that moment, and I've had that moment for the past year and a half since I found it. Uh, I'm going. Yeah. Should I open it? I mean, it looks so cool. I know. But then you have to make the choice of. There's two display options. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want his disguised? Yeah. Form, or do you want the old... him as Super Grover? And then you got to store the stuff out now, unpackaged. I know. You have the uh, Alex Ross box art. Yeah. I've thought about buying the print, the Alex Ross print a couple times, but again, too much stuff on my walls. I don't need more. Oh, wow. Look at this one. Oh, wait. This is Tatooine? This is Lars Homestead. Homestead. Okay. Padme, who has um, a, uh, I guess, just a, a, a rubber... A garment rogue. just to yeah. slip over her in an entirety. Yeah. That's great. Is that Lieutenant Danny Fatoni at the bottom? Not only is it Lieutenant Danny Fatoni at the bottom, but we might have him coming up as well. I, I thought about buying them. There's been a couple where I've thought about buying them, and that's one of them. I mean, that that whole Outlander 
nightclub yeah. scene. I mean, look, we're so close with this guy. Look at this guy. See, what you don't want to open woo her. You don't want to use I mean, that contact I, chip. I do. I do have my contact chip reader. I don't know if it works, but I do have it. <laughs> um, At the very least, poor Porkins. You know it's got to be hot in there. Yeah, that's true. Did you see someone uncovered a little while ago? There's a music video from the 80s that uh, the actor who played Wu Her is in. And it's just a close up of his face, but it's from like 10 years after A New Hope. And it's so weird because you're only used to like seeing this guy for these like four seconds, you know, immortalized forever. But is then it like it's just Tim like and a... Bos- Bob Hoskins and Mona Lisa. What? Yeah, let me see if I can find it. Hang on one second. Uh, also, I did my best has a comment for you. What is it? A lady okay. who doesn't appreciate your Star Wars stash isn't a lady worth meeting. Great point. I mean, this is this is whatever it, this is you, whoever oh, whoever it may oh, be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here it is. I will send this to you uh, if you want to show people. You can. You're making it easy. Like, you think I can just swap screens. You're better off pulling it up on your phone and holding your phone up to your camera right now. That is, I'm looking at a mirror. I set a mirror up as my picture in picture. I guess that's true. Because you're not on a computer, you're on a... (sighs) Wait, maybe I can do it. Hang on. Present. Share screen. I think I can do this. Is it letting you do it? I think so. Oh, I can add it. Okay. Okay. Well, sh- let me find. There we go. Let me find him first. Uh, well, you know what? We'll just play it and we'll find him together. We won't play the sound, but. The godly and Krem. Yeah. So this is like an art, a student film. No, I think it's like a British. It's like a British music video. Good old. I'm not going to play it so it doesn't get pulled, but we will wait till he uh, he's going to show up. Um, so God, Godly and Krem is the band. Cry is yeah. the single. Cry is the song, yeah. Uh, and you'll you'll know it as soon as you the see him. You're English like, oh. Mr. T is in it. Yeah. <laughs> but you're like, oh, there he is. There he is as soon as he shows up. Um, so this is the video Michael Jackson saw. <laughs> it seems like it, doesn't it? I mean, it's uh, it's essentially the exact same premise, isn't it? So this is John Landis, yeah. late one night, filming in yeah. London. He's, he's watching all of it because he's a wooer completist. And he knows I got to go see the, te- uh, what's his name, Ted something. Watching Ted. her royal music television. Yeah. I mean, we're just going to sit here until he shows up. I mean, this, this is, is like cool. the big book of British faces. <laughs> uh-huh. It is fun. They all feel like AI generated faces, you know? Like if you yeah, told me none of these people if you said none of these people were real, I'd believe you. Oh, totally. I yeah, they, this is all assembled from uh thousands and thousands of photos culled mm-hmm. from the internet. <laughs> Where are all these people now? These people are all in their what, 60s? Probably. The, the yeah. youngest is in their 40s, 50s. Yeah. This is, I think this is 86, maybe it said. Somewhere around there. Boy, I don't um, know why this didn't get more play on MTV proper in the States. The fun thing uh, will be when this ends and I realize it's the wrong video. <laughs> it's not. But we, you know what? We went on a journey regardless. We did. We figured it out. And it's, we're all watching it together. Um, I oh, think I learned. Monocle. The, the monocle just yeah. sold it. it Who shows one. up with the monocle? There he is. 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 That was him. Does he have like one tooth on the bottom left now too? Yeah. Here, we'll go back to him. Hang on. I think it's two. I'll leave it like that. There we go. There we go. (laughs) Egon Spangler. There he is. We don't serve your kind here. We'll have to wait outside. Yeah. But he was dubbed, right? So that's not his voice. It's not even his voice. Yeah. I'm sure it's like, oh, I will serve the kind of you, bruv. You know, it's like that kind of thing. Move it along. 
it would be oh, man i would love it if they just released an undubbed cut of that movie because like everyone in oh, that dude, movie the entire oh, the entire uh sequence at the end the entire death star run yeah. would be oh, incredible yeah. <laughs> yes. so this is not a bad natalie portman padme likeness sure. not quite bosk we got bosk now the you crazy got... thing is i wanted to i was gonna leave all of the bounty hunters in the packaging but then i realized they didn't make a power of the force ig88 no no he was uh power of the jedi he... yeah and i don't have him he's the one i don't have so you until you can complete the bounty hunters you refuse there he is like a forlom so you got the zuckus as well uh yeah give me a second we'll get the zuckus got a bigs like a bigs none of these are main characters i want to be clear on that oh we got a prince caesar <laughs> oh yeah you shadows the empire line also love i them. love that they decided to release dangly obi-wan kenobi from the I mean, scene where he hangs off a thing. Yeah. I was just watching, I saw a TikTok today where uh, in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the uh, Quidditch scene, it's the exact same music from the Dangly scene. What? It was the same year and it's just the same just reused the just same reused basic it. cue? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> he At that point he was what? 70? 70. So what? He's he like, probably, probably thought he was close to retirement. This would have been one of his last things. Uh -huh. Let the Look man coast. Guy. Look at this guy. Oh. But And then you're like, oh, but then who's he going to fight against? Yeah, joke's on you. He's going to fight against this guy. Yeah, you can't give those away. No, that's why I kept them. That's got to be, the... be on top of your television. I know. I think I gave away the Grievous, but I kept these two. Is it the same emotional connection? Yeah, it wasn't wasn't for me. Anyways, here's Zuckus. Look at Zuckus. But he's got more like a camo robe in that one, right? It's yeah, it's a little bit. I think it's just they just colored it just to make it look more, uh, more um, textured. Oh, you know, does this thing have fiddly bits? There we go. Oh, look at this. We got a second Ponda Baba. Oh, yeah. Your Black Series with his uh, two different types of hands. Which I right? love. That, yeah. And he's then got, I like, have his the... flippers and the. Yeah, he's got his regular hands. And then he's got his cut off arms and all that. Um, and I do have the current Black Series, too. But then you're like, I mean, Patrick, geez, how many freaking Ponda Baba things do you have? And I'm like, oh, look at this guy. So let's talk about you and Ponda Baba. <laughs> We love Ponda Baba. <laughs> we love him. How do you feel about his treatment? By do you think it's a toxic friendship with Doctor yeah, Evans? Um, yeah, but also they're friends. You know, they're friends. Hey, look who's on the back of this guy. It's our old pal Warher right there. Um, yeah, they're friends. They're they're. I think he gets what he needs out of it, which is uh. Some companionship help. yeah reattaching his arm you know i mean are we sure there's not a deeper relationship there are there something well, more committed that's the question isn't it Ooh, look at this this is travel anakin this is this is outland peasant disguise but i love yeah. this every time i see this it looks like a jukebox to me uh-huh uh -huh. now oh here's a fun one this was given to me you must know craig shemin i do this was given to me by craig shemin this Craig Shemin of the Jim Henson Legacy yes. wrote a great book about Sam and Friends. Yes, yes, yes. Now, this is part of the Princess Leia collection. And you look at it, and it's the Han and Leia from Bespin, right? But then, huh? What's this at the bottom? Princess Leia and Wicket the Ewok. <laughs> do you that's think that that is her? Uh, do you think that maybe that's her pet name for him? I don't know. After Endor? I don't know. That's who's in there. There's my little Ewok. I can't find Boba. I had a Boba, and I don't know where he is. I also have this one, which is 
12-inch Han Solo, which is from uh, La Guerra de la Galaxias, La Guerra des Atolls. It's the Spanish and French Han Solo. Can we talk about that Princess Leia collection and their addition yep. of cloth goods? Yes, particularly yes, yes. to that Han jacket on a three and three quarter scale figure. Yes, yes, yes. It's not good, which is part of my problem with all of these, where you're like, once you add cloth, it starts to look bad. It looks bad. Yeah, yeah there's no way in that era they're going to. I will say that the dress on Leia looks good. Yes. Oh, Here's Tarkin and his trusty blaster from that one firefight scene. <laughs> uh huh. I've been really meaning to get the Tarkin Black series. I really love all the Imperial Black series guys, but I have I know I see them there. It is probably one of the best figures yeah. they've done in the Black series. I really I want to get like the Tarkin, the Piet, the Veers, like all those guys. The the is Veers it? is wonderful as well. I don't yeah. have the Piet yet. Nobody uh, makes Ozel. All I want is Ozel, and nobody makes Ozel. <laughs> I like Ozel. You know what? But, what? Now that they'll have a mustache head if they make a Pelion. Sure. Maybe we can but finally you know, get Ozzel in the Black Series. I, I mean, speaking of mustache heads. Yeah, we got a little John Ratzenberger. Uh, now, you Look must have you must have crossed paths with him at some point, right? Never have. Never have. Once uh, once people you, started... You've had George it. Went on the, on the talk show before, right? Oh, I would love that. No. I'm shocked. Like George would do anything. I think I, I think I tried for our buddies marathon, the Air Buddies marathon, but I don't think he could do it. Um, once people start endorsing certain political candidates, I say, oh, I guess I'm not going to work. With yeah, the Ratzenberger of it all is awkward. It's a little messy. It's a little I messy. was a little surprised that he showed up in Poker Face. Me too. Me too. Especially because he's not showing up in Pixar stuff anymore. Um, yeah. I don't know. Got a lot of good guys here. I don't know where Boba is, though. I'm a little concerned about that. And it's the power of the Force to Boba? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's... So, what I'm talking about... So, I, I wouldn't say that this is the best of the era. Things sure. like this with the action features, the yeah. sculpt is not too great. But what I do think is the best of this era figure yeah. is oh, stuff like I Orin Free Ta. And now listen, when I'm talking to you earlier saying that our first show in London was weird because certain guests were really weird, it may or may not have anything to do with Senator Ornfried Ta. Oh, were you saying this could be... Uh... <laughs> could be well, a little spoiler for... Uh... Actually, maybe not in Attack of the Clones. I be I think we're only talking Phantom Menace Ornfried Ta. But, uh... I think it's yeah. the same actor. I don't think it is because he didn't shoot stuff in Australia. But that's a freaking good figure. Isn't it? The paint job is great um, for the era. Oh, he looks let's great. Let's, let's get him out. We would see more of Orn Frita, a lot more of Orn Frita in Clone Wars Clone cartoon. War. He's got a good voice in Clone Wars. And uh, Bad Batch. Yes, that's true. That's true. I like Orn Frita. I, I, I still like Orn Free Tide even after the London debacle. <laughs> I mean, you're you're building this are, up into something incredibly epic. Are, are there jokes I had to cut out because even I was uncomfortable? Yes. And I've seen what's gone on in talk shows in the past. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I've the only pandemic was a weird time for comedy. Yeah. And yeah. a weird time for the three of you. Yeah. And for all of the guests that you would have on. Yes. I mean, I, I, these were shows where you shaved your head. Yes. I believe up until this show, I had cut one thing out of the George Lucas talk show. And in that episode, I cut two things out of that one specific episode. So. I mean, that says an incredible lot about yes. how pear-shaped it must have gone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Man, I might buy that figure. That figure looks great. I mean, much like that. I need to get his little Yeah, I don't care about his little his little V blow from Lubber. <laughs> yes. Battery's not included. Yeah. 
Man, he looks great. Not wearing shoes. No, he's got like a little Max Rebo feet. He does. He does. But the robe is great. Let me look at the... Yeah. Man. It's the sculpting. I mean, look, you even have sculpting on the inner robe and the paint, the silver paint. Yeah. Also, this is probably like a $5 figure <laughs> on eBay. I mean, let's, let's look right now. But also, do I need more figures? That's the big question. All right, Let's look go. at this face. Or... Look, look, look at this. Look at this Ord Frita. All right, I'm on eBay right now. Ord Frita figure. Also, don't you need something really to fully memorialize whatever happened in London? No, because I already have a Rune Hacko figure. <laughs> look, look, that, look, it looks like he's laughing. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Now it looks like he's sad about what he did. Now the problem is the shipping is what kills you, you know? Because you what got you need to right do here. what you need to do for the ten dollar ones that offer free shipping. Or yeah. make an offer. Like look for one that's like fifteen dollars free yeah. shipping. Go, I'll offer you nine here and we see go. what they All do. Right, here we go. Eleven ninety seven best offer free shipping. I oh, will done. offer I will offer four dollars. I I, I appreciate like, I when somebody. someone comes back to you with a counter offer. Yeah. There was one that I did one because you, of course, you're going to make an offer going, I would yeah. like this for as low as possible. Make me yeah. a counter offer if yeah. you feel it's too low. I got one that came back with offer declined and the note, this is just insulting. Uh -huh. It's like it's meant to be the start <laughs> of let's see if we yeah. can bring it down. Yeah. It's That's not, really this is just insulting. Is just insulting. Oh, an nice exclamation time. point. I mean, what I'm looking for is some guy whose wife is like, you need to get rid of this. And the this, guy is just, you know. This way is he like, like he's got weight. He's got weight Th to him. This Oh, there's there's heft. Yeah. When you look at, yeah. This 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 could do harm. <laughs> you, you, you don't want to throw this Orin Frita. <laughs> also, uh -huh. uh, uh, he, he's going to need to know what we hear. Hopefully we hear back before we're done. I mean, that's the hope, right? Right now, Orin Frita is going to have a place of pride right in front. Man. He looks good. So, now the other unique thing in our next figure yeah. was after the episode one line, which was yeah. loaded with them. And I can't yeah. help but think that this was an over-response sure. to the, uh, the lashback on it. The only Jar Jar figure in the entire Attack of the Clones line. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. I found a $9 or best offer. I'm going to do that one instead. The um, worst that can happen is you you get both of them accepting your offers, and you uh -huh. have two Orn Free Tots. Well, I didn't send the other one, because the other one froze on me, so this is perfect. Um, yeah. That Jar Jar Black series is good, though. The Jar Jar Black series is a great figure. Yeah. And fairly uh, cheap if you want. If you want. Also, KB Toys. Not only yeah. was this a five ninety nine list price at the time, this is why I'm keeping the cards. It's yeah. red slash through and marked down to two ninety nine. Man, what a time to be alive! Yeah, there we go. Now you can better. You can see it a little better. Because these guys are way too expensive now. It's like disgustingly expensive now. But you know who's still around? Yeah, Jar Jar. You know who's not? KB Toys. KB Toys. Yeah. So take your spite slash down price marking. Yeah. Yeah. Bunch of bunch of dorks. Bunch of dorks. Um. But yeah, Jar Jar Binks Gungan Center, the only Jar Jar figure in the entire figure in the entire uh, Attack of the Clones line. It is crazy. I mean, that one, I guess, it sort of makes sense that they stopped making him. But, like, some of the Black Series ones where you're like, I don't understand why there's not a Black Series of X, you know? Or, like, only one Padme Black Series. Like, crazy to not do, like, the Queen gown, you know? Uh, the main Queen get up one in a Black Series. It took me a second to realize that they were talking about eBay. No, my window's wide open. They could get me there. <laughs> How are you liking know. LA? How are you liking I like the it. I'm having I'm having a good time. Having a, I mean, it helps know, I mean, to I... have active productions going and not just sitting there going, I need to find work. 
Well, for now. <laughs> talk to me. Talk to me in two weeks. End. That strike Things Once never that strike. end. No, the strike's about to happen. Yeah, but that's going to make improv even more appealing for entertainment. I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, no, I'm having a having a good time. Uh, leaving again for a month in August because we're going to Edinburgh. Yeah, I but, saw. Um, yeah, you're going. Uh, you like you want to get rid of all the money that you might have been making. Look, it's not my it's not my project. <laughs> Edinburgh is not a choice that people make financially. Yes, it is, Patrick it is a new, massive but... risk for yeah. it. It is the original exposure. Yes, when it came to the comedy world, Patrick is trying to put in zero dollars into uh, into Edinburgh. <laughs> is there an Ahmed Beck figure, Ralph? Ralph saying this. What? Ralph is saying there's an Ahmed Beck figure. Is there one? Oh, is there one? I don't know. I'm going to look. It's right here. You have him? Oh, my God. I got to get that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get that. I didn't even know that existed. How do? You, how can you know that there is a Daniel Fultoni? I knew there was a Danny Fultoni. I knew that one. Oh, and man. not know yeah. that you need to complete the Outlander scene with his table partner. Yeah. Ahmed Beck. I mean, look, they're, they're, they're reunited. They look, they look great together. They, they also look, look like they don't want to associate outside of work together. Like, how many they also look like my table? Is that, is that the same body? Oh, totally. That's so funny. That's so funny. But yeah, there. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta get those. Yeah, how have you... I don't know. This is really just me getting you to buy things. It's bad. It's really bad. I agree. Uh, uh, Ralph saying that the Black Series Keller and Beck, I mean, I have to imagine that's coming. His Mandalorian character. I, I would buy a Black Series. I'd buy a Sideshow. I'll, I'll take whatever you want for Keller and Beck. I gotta see which of these coloring backs I'm gonna open, which has the better. Ken, what are you doing, Ken? I mean, what I gotta <laughs> save for Celebration 2027. Which one? Now you're just. I should leave the one that has the. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? What? How's this a Brett? Yeah, this one's kind of dinged. I'll yeah. I'll open, open this one. Open and this one I'll leave to eventually be graded. Crazy. After I get Ahmed to sign it, yeah. What? I'm not showing off. It was it's a, a lot, and I happened to get an extra one for like two dollars. Uh-huh. Are you gonna uh-huh. say no? No, I I'm gonna it. put the senators together. It's a weird pose for this Jar Jar too. Like, why is he yeah. in a weird swingy, why is... swishy action pose? I don't. Does he have accessories? What's he's got a staff? He's got a staff that has electrification like he's got his weapon from the first that, film it's the same weapon that's weird but why why does he have that there i don't know i don't know the choice there's some weird choices man. i don't understand like i would love that's i would love to do an entire just conversation with the designers where it's just like yeah. why why on this why this yeah, yeah. Let's it get feels this like Ahmed it... back open. I feel bad opening um, it. It feels like, and I said I was genuinely excited. I didn't know that this figure existed before, like a year ago. Yeah, like oh, they actually did the cameo figures. Yeah, I think the first one that got me excited about collecting those was when I got the uh, the Ralph McQuarrie. Oh sure, figure. Because sure. what else? There's the Jeremy Bullock one. Oh, there's a large fly in my apartment. This is cool. Um, I'm going to go try to get this guy out of here. Um, wait, wait. This is all, why Jeremy, you leave your window um, open. You invite this in. No, I left my door open. That was the problem. Um, there's a Jeremy Bullock one. There's a Lucas one. There's a Macquarie one. There's a Anthony Daniels one. There's a 
And then you have to draw the line to what? So the Ratzenberger is not a cameo. He was a working not a actor. Cameo. That's a role. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that doesn't count. Uh, yeah. We don't have a John Williams one yet. No. It feels like they bailed on Rise of Skywalker. I also don't love the new figures. They look so much cheaper, I think. They definitely are smaller. Yeah. They don't feel as substantial. Yeah. Yeah. The articulation is is loads better. I'll give them that. When they do yeah. right by the like the face printing and sculpt, yeah. they yeah. look incredible. Yeah. But there is a they modern figures feel delicate. Like if yeah. I were I would never give them to a small child to play with. Uh, Ralph's bringing up a great point. I wish they they have not made like behind the scenes figures. Like we have not gotten like a Gary Kurtz figure or a Rick McCallum, you know. Even like a, a '70s or '80s George Lucas figure, I feel like would do great. Or just but I like don't a George it. Lucas figure that looks like George. I know it's weird that those other ones don't. Also, That's why? Cool. Where is the set of George Lucas talk show figures? Hey, would love it. Would love it. Of all the fans out there who have fallen in love with the show and how creative they all are. I know. Never got them. Why has that not been done yet? I don't know. And also, between the the three of you, who would be the most excited? Oh, that's a good question. It probably wouldn't be Connor. It would either be Griffin or I. It would probably be Griffin, but I'd be pretty damn. Ben Burt would be nice. I'm seeing Ben Burt on Saturday. Oh, yeah, because he's doing that uh, Academy yeah. thing, right? It's exciting. Are you doing the signing as well? No, because the signing is at on May the 4th, which we're doing a live stream during. I mean, what's more important? I agree, but... You got, you got choices agree. to make, and I think you know what choice you should make. I know, I know. If you told me any other time, like, Howard Kazanjian's coming, I'd be over the damn moon. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. No, I mean, for that era, yeah, when the human sculpts were still a bit dicey. Yeah. Those look terrible. I Ralph, you're going? That's fun. Let's see Ralph there. That was, oh, Ralph, are you going to the signing? Because maybe Ralph can pick up something from Ben. Mm. But Ben's not doing the signing. It's, it's Paul Hirsch and Howard Kazanjian, I think. Is it? I thought Ben was also doing something after the... I don't think so. I don't know. It'd be great if he was selling 8 by 10s I should go ahead and open Daniel Faitoni, right? I think so. I think you gotta. Also, when we get this thing opened, and I, I'm able to show it off a bit more, yeah. they really captured the above-it-all look of Anthony Daniels. <laughs> uh-huh. They got they got the sort of uh, somewhat benign condescension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I imagine this would be the look on his face when Kenny Baker would ask him what time it was. Uh huh. <laughs> I he came. Uh, I booked him at Marvel to come talk about when his book came out, and he was delightful and so nice, and it really. Uh, was not what I was expecting. This was the IMC 3PO? Yeah. Very nice guy for to us. I mean, he's got he's got a lifelong gig. I don't know. I mean, I he, I always wonder what else does Anthony do with the rest well, of the year? I Is he doing he, theater work? I well, I think he like owns a freaking castle in France and like lives in France. So he's very much I don't need to do anything else. Yeah. Yeah, which is great. Fine, I I appreciate that uh, that ability to do that yeah. immensely. That would be yeah. swell. Yeah, to be in that position in life. Man, they look great. So, what's just top of your list so far? The orange free toss still? Uh, so the ones we've opened. I don't know. These the Faitoni and Beck maybe have taken over. I mean, it's got a little little tiny drink glass. I mean, look, get... we're acting 
We're acting like I don't have a little uh, Austin Powers Obi Wan Kenobi figure right next to me. You know, <laughs> his name is Obehave Kenobi. You still have not opened up a single figure. That is bullshit, and you know it. I opened up Tote and Marion Ravenwood. That's not no no. You had a box of figures that you scrambled to find. You have not opened a single one of those. You figure out who the best one is to open. Um, which which actor that's no longer with us from the yeah. Star Wars films would yeah. you love to book on the talk show if you had the opportunity? I think it's Hootkins, right? Hootkins yeah, is the guy who Hootkins. Because then you talk about Indy, you talk about Batman, you talk about Star Wars, you talk about James Bond, you got all the big ones. Wait, but here can now here's the question that I have. There must be another box because I know I have Boss Nass. <laughs> you sure you're not the very bottom of that box? No, I opened up the I went to the bottom. Hang on, hang on. Think of the future, Jack. Yeah, Hookins, Hookins and Batman was epic. What do we got? What do we got next? What do we got? What do we got next? I don't think people... You'll understand just how many figures there are. Okay, okay. So I still haven't found Boba, okay? But I did find Boss Nass. Now, when was that? Was he just sitting on a that shelf was, loose like you actually had no, him on that display? Was in, that was in my case with my opened figures. Okay. And then I did find good oh, old Sile Bibble. Invasion. In, uh-huh. And I also did find the ComTech chip reader. So you have to open at uh, least one of the episode ones. I'll, yeah. Well, this doesn't have batteries in it and it has a screwdriver on it, but I can. And I, and I think it's a nine volt. Now, when I was in, um, when I was in London, I was staying with a uh, family in Richmond. And we went to a bookstore. And one of the first books that I saw when we walked in, Sio Bibble's memoir. Completely unrecognizable without the beard. And guess what? It was signed because he lives in the neighborhood. Oh. Look at that. Sio Bibble. Got a memoir. Now, how did you not buy a few copies there was only to bring one those back? There's only one signed copy. And I also bought... Richard E. Grant's memoir because he also what si- signed yeah. with the oh lives in the That's a nice signature. It was a good signature. Um, but I believe they were both the only signed copies. And you were the only American who wanted to talk about Star Wars instead of Ted Lasso, who visited <laughs> Richmond. <laughs> but but I look did. at this! Look at that, Anthony Daniels. Oh man, He's that looks so great. Funny. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I also did buy, now this one is not signed, but I did, um, I went into a, a, like a DVD store and was reading around the DVD, looking around the DVD store and they had books and for $2, Boss Nass's memoir. Now, now, open up to our page. I just want to say, can, can I see some of the text? Yeah, sure. One of the it few says, impressions. One of the few oh, impressions right I, I did. I did master. Right me, here on page one ninety one, it just says. <laughs> just kidding. Give me a line. Give me a line from it, and I'll okay. do. I'll do Brian Blessed okay. back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so when this poor wretch of a journalist flew in from Madrid, he never stood a cat in hell's chance. So when this poor wretched journalist blew in from Madrid, he didn't stand. Uh, what was the rest of it? I didn't get the a, rest of it. A cat in hell's chance. A cat in hell's chance. There you go. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, do you know how long it's been since I've been able to use my Brian Blessed? Uh-huh. I recorded an entire Christmas song as Brian Blessed. Oh, my God. Where he kept losing his place and getting angry with the booth 
for losing his place in the song. Uh, where? What are we doing next? You want to go? Uh, we're opening Boss Nast. That's what we're doing next. Oh, is it? And now is that the Power of the Jedi one, or is yes? So that's the better Boss Nast. That's the properly scaled Boss Nast. I don't know if I've seen the worst Boss Nast. Oh, Tinto, that's a good one. Now, does that is that just his pod? No, so that's the wreckage of his pod being picked up yeah. by the retrieval uh, droid. That's great. Yeah, so the episode one boss Nas yeah. is like an inch shorter. Like Weird. it's super small. Weird. Now I have the companion figure to that one that was in the, the original trilogy collection line. Which the is the pad? The Padme holding the like uh, peace ball. Oh sure, that's a good one. Me so likey this. He uh, now he feels cheap. I don't like the way that he feels. Is it? It sounds very plasticky as opposed to rubbery. It feels very plasticky, and then like you look, you look here, and it only goes up a little bit, and then it just stops. Like he doesn't have a body under. Oh, so you can't like open the robe or anything? No, no. Isn't it weird? It feels like Boss Nass should have come back in some other piece of canon, and I don't think he has. He didn't even come back in like a Clone Wars episode. Well, he's in he's in Revenge of the Sith because he's at the funeral, right? But that's but it. He does, but he doesn't speak. Yeah, yeah. Like I would love yeah, if he but... gave like his speech at the funeral. Me so have a eulogy. We share a ball. Yeah. <laughs> I must like, put a need that back. It does look like he's doing like jazz hands. <laughs> hey. Oh, cha cha. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Blessed, uh, I think, yeah. would have a ball on George Lucas' talk show. But I, I would utterly lose control. Absolutely. Um, I tried when we were in London. I don't think he lives in London. I think he might live in Scotland. That sounds Which right. Maybe we or, get a Bradenboro, but he's also the 80, Yeti. he's also eighty nine years old. You know, it, but he's one of those people that it doesn't matter. Like he's going to yeah. be that yeah. until he drops, as yeah. far as energy wise. Yeah. Like I think his beard just just started to go gray. Uh huh. But he is a force of nature. These episode one toys ruled. What's your favorite of the episode one toys? I think it's the Nemoidians. I really so like the two Nemoidians. Newt? Uh, if you I had two to pick, to pick one, from. no, it would be Rune. I think it's the Rune one. Rune Hacko? Yeah, because he can bend his arms too, and I like that. Whereas Newt, his arms are don't have uh, the joint in the middle. And he left his wife. She had cancer. Mm-hmm. Just awful. So this has yeah. tiny little goggles. This is Team Toe. This is Team Toe. Has he's like going to lose those goggles? I'll lose them in the middle of the sentence. <laughs> but I don't know. Like they're not separated, so I don't know how. Oh, you feed them. Oh, okay, you can feed them over his head. Oh, oh, yeah. There he is. He's wearing. <laughs> wow. He's wearing his little... Look at that. Wow. That is the best little goggles. They look perfect. Uh-huh. He does look good. That's a good one. It'd be great if his arms were permanently locked in the... you got to be kidding me position. <laughs> uh, but this is not an insubstantial accessory. No. I mean, again, they really went all out. Yeah. This would be considered a deluxe figure set today and Do you cost think it's $21. Yeah. Do you think it's because people were like, who's going to buy Team Topaglis? We better give him something else. But all the figures were getting this. I mean, Anakin yeah. had that big container. Padme yeah. has a whole pillar and yeah. a metal chain. I didn't realize the chain is metal. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> and. The next one we're going to do is, I think, one of the best sculpts of this line. And I'm shocked. Because yeah. 
Star Wars does not have a history of doing uh, female faces very well. Sure, sure. Okay, let me... Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. That's a good one. Yeah. Do you have to excuse yourself for a second? What do you... You look at... I cut I, you off when I, you were saying, let me... Oh, no, no, I just said yes, yes, yes. That was a good one. And then I had a work email that I just needed to ignore. <laughs> Oh, Connor, you're busy. It's not, that was a real job. <laughs> it was a real job, you know. <laughs> so how does it feel now? Because when we, we recorded a while ago when we did the Force 5, but yeah. now you're like fully back to doing live George Lucas talk shows. Yeah. How does it, but the show is not the same as it was. No, it's not. I mean, we're doing a live stream on May the 4th, uh, which will have guests and will be more of a standard... Um, live stream show which is nice because we haven't done one in probably a year or so um but uh it's it's Just weird because Watto needed to stop with the taco bell yeah Watto well, needed to figure stuff it out it be was becoming an issue it's becoming a problem um but the uh yeah the live shows are different but i think we just did one with uh amy irving and Michael Yuri and Andrew Barth Feldman that just got put up. And I think it's genuinely one of the funniest episodes we've ever done. Um, and and I wish... surprising. And very surprising. Like, yeah. Like I also, you know, I would not have expected Amy Irving. She's great. Looking on the show. Well, yeah. she's great. Yeah. Uh, did I, this is actually break. This break in the package, the Sam Wessel. I think that arm comes off. Am this I wrong? Doesn't attach very well. I don't know. It it just slid right off as I was taking this thing. This wasn't like I did felt she, like I broke it. Did she get her arm cut off in the movie? Well, that's like spongy. Oh, maybe not then. Yeah, I've never seen an arm joint like that. Well, you know, I mean, it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But let's see if we can. Say how. It's not a bad Zam Wessel. Yeah. Uh, wait. Her arm, her arm does get cut off. So I okay. wonder if that's part of that toy. So it's just a weird way they decided like, to do it because it's like a spongy yeah. material. But that's a pretty good. Yeah. Sculpt for a face, and look at the detailing on the outfit for that yeah. era. And I believe also, doesn't that come with the second face? It does. Alien face shape changer. I believe he is a she, and I believe she is a changeling. I guess you just uh, lay it over the face. Yeah. The uh, the cloth guard does not go back up though, so you can't put the face. Zam's another one, which it's a bummer because Clone Wars takes place between two and three, but Zam feels like someone you could have given a lot more stories to. Well, it's a shame. You know, they haven't really done anything between one and two. Tales of the Jedi was the first time we got a hint of what they oh. could do if they decided to. And they should. I think it's a good idea. And Tales I mean, of the Jedi, I think, is good. Yeah. No, I think they, I hope they explore more of that. Yeah, I'm very curious with this second season if it's just going to be four or six episodes or whatever again, or if they will do longer stuff since Filoni's not really doing it. You know, it sort of gives them more of a chance to to just do a 20 episode season or something without having to worry about him. Uh, Ralph was asking if it's magnets like Anakin. It doesn't feel. I mean, it is like a spongy. You know what? Maybe it is magnets oh uh, it is magnets yeah. and they have like a felt covering that's oh, the spongy sure. sure 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 okay well that makes sense now huh. also weird to have super tiny magnets in a kid's toy for four and over yeah although weird i part. hope you're not like taking off zam's arm and sucking on the end of it that's you should have weird. outgrown that yeah speaking of uh anthony daniels though Oh, this is a good one. I had this one. I wonder if that so, scene will ever... 
come out because they they shot a scene of like Padme putting on his uh, coverings. I bet there's a fan edit, but I don't think the fo- there's only photos it's never of been it. released. I don't, I don't think the footage has ever. It come didn't out. make it on any of the even the Blu-ray releases. No. No. Such a weird figure. This one comes That's with like so a little much box. In it. Right? Comes with a box to yeah. put all the stuff in. Yeah. But Ralph, you don't need to deep fake Jake Lloyd Hayden. You make him uh if you're animating it, it's just animated. Also, while I'm opening think, this. Yeah. Oh, what would your memoirs be titled? Um uh mine used to in high school I said it was gonna be called Bordering Out Obnoxious which I think is fun, but I don't know if that is still the case as much as it was in high school, you know? Uh, mine would either be this is it? Question mark. <laughs> uh, or be sure to get your discount. It's mm-hmm. a good one. I mean, this isn't the thickest of plastic, but it is nice to have a little storage container for all the bits and bobs. It, it's weird that it doesn't yeah. lock, though. Like a little clasp. On sure. It. sure. So you're still going to lose everything. Yeah. So, I mean, Not now doing, doing the show live again. Yes. What's the difference now in... Because you weren't an onstage presence in the show prior to yeah. pandemic. Yeah, no, I like it so much less. <laughs> oh, I could see you cross-legged for the uh, entirety of that yeah. gaming army. I uh-huh. can see. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I uh, I mean, look, it's fine. I, I, I prefer doing the live streams just because, like, if I make a joke and it doesn't go over, I have no idea versus in person. I'm like, oh, all right, well, that one didn't work. Um but it's uh, yeah, but it's then, definitely more. How would Griffin enjoy your presence? Yeah, absolutely, it's more <laughs> stressful for me. But I do. Uh, I feel like I'm getting my money's worth more. You know what I mean? If I'm getting paid, it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something for it. Uh, and then the, you know the shows like those London shows, like it's a very interesting experience to be on stage when stuff is not uh, going well. Um, but then to try to figure it all out between the three of us is a lot more fun, I think. Um, Rather than trying to put fires out backstage? Yeah, because you can't. There's nothing you can do from backstage. So, No, you're just like, uh, well, we're going to have a conversation about this later. Yeah, yeah. Or even just like, all right, I mean, this is what's happening. There's nothing we can do about it, you know? Um, uh, I'm just looking at the back of this box now. I mean, the Massimato one is great. The Foden Bead Padres announcer is great. They're all great. Which is Um, fixed. I didn't know about the difference because that's the second release of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first one was with the Jabba that spits the frog creature at the gong. Yeah. But the Foden Bead are based on the Foden Bead makeup from when they were supposed to be two actors. Yes. Yes. I love that. And the fact Um, that they fixed it for that release. So we got in behind the scenes Sure. Stuff that it wasn't even meant to be sure. design art. Yeah. I tweeted this a little while ago. The Poe. Oh, he looks so buff. Look, yeah. It's so funny how it like doesn't really fit on him. Um, there is a Poe figure that looks like Gary Kurtz. Uh <laughs> it, it does not look like Poe, and his beard is like not colored in in the mustache area, so it looks so it looks like, like the Poe. Amish sort of uh yeah, yeah. Um, but that feels like about as close as you're gonna get. Do you want to go um, a clone trooper, a droid, or a Jedi? Jedi. Okay. Okay. Oh, is it a Yoda little alien? And Chien. So this is a youngling, an alien yeah. youngling. Everyone's favorite character, Chien. Who's got I mean just the I mean, we could pick up with him. He'd be what, like a teenager, probably a full-on yeah. Jedi Knight by the time Jeez. of the the war. He's a Nikto. I'm on his uh, his Wikipedia. Um, what's the time period? Is it two years between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith? 
I think it's three, I believe. So yeah, oh, well, so he probably wasn't with the younglings in the sort of uh, Anakin scene in the yeah. temple. Oh wow! I'm so I'm on his. Yeah, that's true. But so he he's still be out there. I don't know. It's maybe, although it seems like it seems like everyone survived that. So maybe he became yeah, an inquisitor. Sure the kid. <laughs> that's funny. The kid in that scene. I'm I'm on Chien's Wikipedia, and it links me to J.K. Bertola, who is the one who says, "Master, because someone erased it from the archive memory when they're talking about Camino." Oh, what when, when it's a, it's a teaching moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that kid was played by John Knoll's son, Alex Knoll. I wonder what Alex Knoll was up. to. I now. bet Alex Knoll is working at ILM right now in his twenties. Uh, no, he'd be what in his thirties now. He was, now he's born 1994. He's two years younger than me. I think I found his Instagram page. At Alex Knoll Photo. Looks like he lives in New York. Okay, so he's a photographer. Yeah. And, and not a bad photographer. I don't know if this is the same kit. That's the thing. Well, compare it to the scene in a yeah. of clothes and see. I'm trying to find his. Let's see. He doesn't have like a bio on his website. I feel like it's got to be him. I mean, if you were John Knoll's kid, you'd probably keep that low just to keep yeah. fans away. Who, yeah. Who want you to be on their talk shows? <laughs> have you had any children of on the show? Um, of anyone involved in the? Um. I'm sure Jet would do it. Have you asked Jet? I've met I've met Jet twice. I've never asked Jet to do it. I there comes a point where you're like, uh, is this the line that I don't want to cross? You know what I mean? Uh, what I is, have met, I have is there met a Jet guest twice. that that you had that ethos about forever, and then you like ah, let's just book him. Well, the and, Amy one, Amy Irving is one where it's like I didn't know how this would go, you know, because she's talking about Spielberg and stuff. Now, um, considering what you, you know, you, you screened her audition. Does she know that yeah. was coming beforehand? Yeah. Yes. Okay. She did. We talked about that. We, we had, uh, we had dinner before the show. So we talked about some of the stuff, but not that much. I mean, the, um, the, more... the definite thing for the show and the, the fascinating thing for me yeah. when viewing it yeah. is when a new guest is on. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone told them about the show where they should do the show or a friend yeah. said they should do the show. Yes. How long it takes for them to figure it to out. realize what the show is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and, she then, was and then that moment we're like, oh yeah. Oh no. Right away. Yeah. There are some, I don't know to this day if they know. Uh huh. Uh huh. The Which ones you sort of, the, the bemused ones. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm still trying to think if we've had any kids. I feel like we did have someone's kid, and I can't remember who. I can't remember. Look at little Chien. Look at does, does Chien's helmet come off? It does not. Chien doesn't really. Sculpt. Do you think his name is Chien because he doesn't have a Chi in? Oh, why? Look at why him. Gotta... There's barely a Chi in there. He's so sensitive about that. <laughs> Nick toes don't grow into their chins until later. <laughs> Nick toe, it's, it's, it's also weird that you can get younglings to populate. Yeah. For what came later. Also, there's gotta be other there's gotta be other youngling toys, right? The bonus of having his floaty chair. Yeah. Yeah. Which he doesn't have in that scene. Yeah, he does. Does he? Isn't he yeah, standing he, on the ground? I thought he's floating next to... I feel like he's standing, but maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Because don't they just float... Oh, well, he gets him. And he, he, does he go to the classroom first to ask him, and then they leave to talk about it more? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I'm looking for more youngling toys. There's one other set. Of young ladies yeah. for Attack of the Clones that came out. I know that. Yeah. Oh yeah, here they are. Jempa. His name is Jempa. That one I do not have. 
And Jempa looks like the Zam Wessel, uh, the changeling face. Oh, but then there's an, a one called Ashla, who is, I wonder if this is a um, custom, though, who's a Togruta, the, um, the Ahsoka. Uh, oh, they species. were quietly retconned out by Dave. Filoni. <laughs> <Or it's, or laughs> there'll be no other Chagruda. Oh, it's Ashla and Jempa come together. Yes. Yeah, yeah it's a two set. So instead of yeah, Yoda, yeah. you yeah. get uh, two younglings in the pack. For for only $36 on Amazon right now. Yeah, for some reason, that is the harder to get set. Weird. Weird. trying to grab a figure that dropped. There we go. There you go. There's so many figures around here. It's so sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think I'm trying to clear yeah. this space off because I have a set we can open. Okay. I'm excited. Speaking of Jedis. Yes. Why don't we open? Okay. Okay. I like where this is going. A Jedi Council set. Ooh! Wow, Opal Rancisis, that definitely has nothing to do with that very uncomfortable early uh, first show in London. Absolutely not. <laughs> Boy, you would think I would have planned it, but you will uh, you will verify. I have no idea. Now, Opal's got a real weird body here. The tail feels like it's like going around his midriff. It is. What is That's so weird. I do like that Evan Peel guy, though. Oh, he's so mad about not having a seat. Like they're playing <laughs> musical chairs, and he's the odd Jedi out. Oh, also, I feel like they should have given someone else besides Mace in there. You know what I mean? Like, there's enough Mace figures. Give me like a, give me a Adi Galia or a Yariel Poof or someone. You know. Also, we got a little Obi Wan. Yeah. Hologram. Wait, but it. Is Opal Rancisis in Attack of the Clones? Why do I only remember him being in Phantom Menace? He is. I think you only see him in that Jedi Council scene, then he's gone by. Oh, I wonder if he's death. one of the, Yeah. I wonder if he's one of the ones where they only shot him for Phantom Menace, but then they just like see inserted to fill out the yeah, yeah, yeah. like why was he not in the, the battle of Geonosis? Like I want to see yeah. his fighting style. Yeah. <laughs> Of all of the Jedi's, I don't even know how to open this for that. I don't want to tear it apart. Yeah, and I don't know how they. Like, I think there's tabs there. You know, I want to preserve this for future generations. Of course, why wouldn't you? Look at that. I mean, I would. If you would have told me that that was Geonosis, I would have believed it. That is uh -huh. a very is a dusky. <laughs> Oh, look how dusty this thing is. It's so funny. What what kid didn't open this as soon as they got it? Come on. Does, does that have a floor? Is that floor a part of it? It does. It has a section oh, of the floor. That's nice. So there are three other sets. Oh, interesting. For this. But they weren't beautiful. released in the same lines. Oh, so funny. I think the you had a companion set to this that was released during Attack of the Clones. Yeah. And then you had two additional sets that didn't come out until after. Oh, wow. I Revenge see them all the put Sith. together right here. Yeah. Like it's a pretty impressive set when you got it all together. Yeah. That is it is it a total of four? Because I think there's also four pieces that come with the later yeah. sets. Yeah, I think it's four. Wow. And then two sets come with four pieces. That are just like blank four and the centerpiece. One one I think comes with the thing to make the center. Yeah. It looks great. Those are more expensive. Those are harder to find the later. You could buy them all together right now for $275 on eBay. I mean, I think what I'm hearing is you could buy them right now. But they're not accepting oh, offer. Thanks. Offer four bucks. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it works out. Some people go, you know what? This thing has been auto renewing on eBay for three years. Yeah. yeah. And if or this longer. sells it, sure. Sure. 
That was Connor bought a um a Taco Bell sign that was above Taco Bell for Phantom Menace. And it's like 23 feet long or something like that. And it was up for $500. And he sent an offer for like 45 bucks, and it immediately sold. Because clearly some guy just wanted to get rid of it. And what was the shipping? Or did he pick know. it up? I don't think it was a pickup. Also, I think was... what is what is Connor doing with that? Well, Connor, we Connor that. still lives in an apartment. Where what is Connor that doing? To, that used to be stage dressing for the live show. It would be on the stage for all of it. Someone in our San Francisco show gave us a. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say just in case we end up using it for something. Maybe yeah, I don't ruin any. It. Yeah, don't ruin any. But now we got that out there. Someone's going. Wait a minute. What is? I'm gonna say it. I'll say it in the private chat. Everyone wait for my reaction. Uh, there you go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> so when are you doing this, the touring show? With, I don't like, know. The, I don't the know semi what and uh, carrying all the stage I props? What, I don't know what to do with that one. It's in my closet right now. Um, I don't know if you them. could ever figure out what to do with that one. No. That opal body is so weird. The tail. Let's take a look at that. So yeah, so it, so his tail comes out the rear. So it's attached to his body. So that's and yeah. then it wraps around his midsection. Like it, you can't force it down. Yeah, it feels it's, like it should go tight. below that. Yeah, it feels like it should yeah, go like, below the. Center. Yeah. Unless he treats it like a dinner tray. Like uh -huh. that's his lap. Yeah. Then it makes sense. Sure. But he can't put his arms all the way down. Weird. And then, yeah, little. That's but then, he, the but then he knots himself. That's the other weird thing. Is that to make sure that when he, that the things on his like belly tail tray are stable? Now, when I'm looking at the photos otherwise of it online, it looks like it can go lower. Maybe it's because it's so old that yeah. I'm hesitant oh, wow. to... Someone, someone also unfurled it. Hang on, let me bring this up because this is crazy. Someone unfurled the tail and like straightened it. Um... Thanks, Ralph. You just want me to break my figures. Can you bring? Oh, hang on, can I do it? There, there you go. Look at that. You got to do that. Okay. So, oh, you know what? I wonder if it has a wire in it then. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Oh, you know what? It is wired. I can feel the yeah. wire. There you go. I mean, I don't huh. want to. Or I can put. I can put the drinks from the Outlander Club on. <laughs> uh huh. And and make a little dinner situation where they're all just sort of eating in the... Like, do they have a Jedi cafeteria? A great question. Do, does the Jedi Council just get their food delivered up to the council room? Great question. For Where's another the, time. Are these, you know, also toilet seats? I mean, is, are there is there plumbing hooked up to these? And they can just... You're asking so many good questions that I wish they would have discovered, uh, explored in Clone Wars, but they did not. Well, Tales of the Jedi. <laughs> I mean, if we can find out uh, through uh, a certain person's extended lore that wizards crap in a bucket, yeah, or just on yeah. the floor oh. where they're at. You want to see this? This is cool. We did a show in San Francisco. I don't know if people saw it, but we did it with um, Rose Degnan, who was an old school ILM person, who was really cool. And Gary Witta, who was one of the writers on Rogue One, and he gave us a gift. He gave it uh, to George during the show. And while they were filming the Scarif scenes for Rogue One, he took a bottle and took some sand, and he gave us Scarif sand. Oh, isn't that cool? That's all been turned to glass. All been turned to glass. That's it. No more sand on Scarif. They should go back to Scarif and the Glass oh. Planet. That's also, cool. no more sand on Scarif sounds like a uh, like a folk song uh -huh. or a Gordon Lightfoot song. Uh huh. 
There's no yeah. stand on scarif. We're making you want to watch episode two. That was the whole point of this show was to make you want to watch episode two. Because <laughs> episode two freaking rules, dude. What was the last time you watched Attack of the Clones? Within the last year. Has there been I would, anything about honestly, doing the talk show that's honestly, made you? I would say, I would say within the last six months, probably. I mean, last six months sounds like it's too long ago. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to rectify that. And if there, anything yeah. has come out of tonight, yeah. Here's the sad thing, and so yes. I'm gonna let you determine where we go from here, because okay. I'm gonna be. Sadly honest, yeah, we haven't made a dent <laughs> in what I've got sitting here. You can hurry up, but the hurry conversation, up. I get it. Who do we got for uh, what other Attack of the Clone stuff? We got, we got more Jedi's, we got more, we got, a, we got, you know, I do have the other one of these sets from Attack of the Clones. We could open Let's that do up. It. You want to see do a yaddle? It. You want to see yes. yaddle? 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 Yes, of course I do. If I had known we had a yaddle, I would have said do that one first. Oh my gosh. And right, so we, got, we got Yariel Poof, we got uh Yaddle, and we got um Depa Bilaba. Is that who that is? Depa Balaba? De- Depa Baloba? Yeah. That's Kanan Jarrus's teach uh, uh Jedi master. Someone saying put on Attack of the Clones in the background. I will do that. I will mute it. But I will put on a pack Can you remember the first words of the crawl? Ooh. The fir- okay, so Attack of the Clone starts with the uh, uh, Padme's ship being blown up. It's not war. That would be three. I don't know how it starts. Do you remember? I mean, it's got to be something about there still being like the we don't have, we now actually have full on separatists. We don't just like it's not it's, yeah. it's a civil war. It's got to be like intrigue, something like that. Confusion. Uh-huh. Wait, what happened? I just went to go log into my. Uh, Disney Plus. Is it logged you out? Buffy, who's Buffy? No, but it, it deleted a ton of profiles on my Disney Plus. That's weird. Do you have a shared family account with Connor and Griffin? <laughs> you... No, I have a shared family account with my family, but the, none of the um, none of their accounts are there. They're That's breaking weird. up with you. It's awkward. That you had is. to find out this way. Yeah. Huh. Wonder what that means. All right, here we go. Play. You know they should put the Fox logos back. Yeah. I agree. Oh, it is on. Oh, it's it's on here. Look at that. I thought they I thought they took it off for the brief time. Oh. I mean, because they didn't produce it, you know. Uh oh. Look at this. Long time ago, galaxy far, far away. Butterfingers. Butterfingers. All right, here we go. Something about systems are gonna be in there too. I just want to know what the first word is, or the first like line, you know. Okay, what is it? Pack of the clones. There's unrest in the Galactic Senate. Several thousand solar systems have declared their intentions to leave the Republic. This separatist movement, under the leadership of the mysterious Count Dooku has made it difficult, why didn't they say dastardly, for the limited number of Jedi Knights to maintain peace and order in the galaxy. 
Senator Amidala, the former Queen of Naboo, is returning to the Galactic Senate to vote on the critical issue of creating an army of the Republic to assist in the overwhelmed Jedi. Dot, 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 dot. That's it? It's only three That's paragraphs? It? That's it. That's a short one. That's an incredible amount of restraint. Have you, oh, I don't like that Yariel's got cloth. Yeah, well, he's got to sit. I guess. It's half cloth. I guess. He doesn't come with a ladle, though. He should come with a ladle. Uh-huh. Don't think I'm not going to make a little tiny ladle for him. <laughs> and a little <laughs> tiny mustache. Uh-huh. Because, <laughs> honestly, I didn't know who Yarl Poof was before that. Sure. And I don't blame so, you. So, kudos. Yaddle. yaddle rules. Yaddle's it's so a, good in that. Film, it's a I? good Yaddle. You know, I'll do a... Yeah. The problem with that, I don't know if you have had any experience with the Elgato face cam. No. Which is a great, you know, sort of uh, high-definition camera, but it yeah. doesn't have any focus. It oh, has sure. only one field of focus. It can't... Yeah. So... It's not a bad Yaddle. Although, yeah, he does look like he's in, like, a British invasion band in the 60s or 70s. Oh, yeah. No, this is, this like, is prog looks rock like Yaddle. Yaddle. Yaddle is playing the bass right now. <laughs> With the force. He's playing yeah. a force bass. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to this part, you must. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that Yaddle talks normal in Tales of the Jedi. Which just proves and, what a what a poser. Yeah, we no what a weirdo Yoda is. Yeah. Where's Captain Typho? We didn't get enough Captain Typho stuff. Hold on, I'm opening up. We got Ginkgo Biloba. Great. Who also does not get a seat. Uh -huh. Which says something about something and I don't like yeah. it then they yeah. need to is she able is she able to sit no not really not with no, that she... outfit see no cloth this huh. is what you get huh huh me so like it is it's got good good type of malaba hair Yeah, I mean they're they're nice sets. Yeah, I'm glad they did them. Then yeah. we have a Jedi Council. Uh, he looks so needy. Oppo Rancisis, just like hold me. Yeah, well, just wait till you see uh, the Friday Night George Lucas talk show in London. You'll see that even more. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ordering an Oppo Rancisis set uh, right now? No, I don't think so. I don't think I need that one. You don't if, need that in your life I do anymore. Like, I do like, yeah. I mean, I like that orange frita though. You at the very, if anything uh, comes out of this evening, yeah. Besides exhaustion, you, yeah. You need to get yourself that orange frita. Yeah, I will. Let me see if I can find one. That's. You got a bail organa. Quality. You got a bail organa. Let's open. Yeah, Luminara Unduli. Woohoo! Give me a. Where's my Kenobi Black Series Bail Organa? Look at that. Look at that. How great the hologram is, even. Yeah. With his. I'm going to order the, the Black Series Mon Mothma. Looks great. And I'm going to get that one. Oh, this. Where is it? You got her already? I do. You got Stellan yet? Yeah, I can have Stellan. have my uh, my grumpy old men set up with the client. Stellan looks good. Yeah, I don't like. I was gonna get the Werner one, but I don't like the sculpt on it. Once you have it in person, come on, you, it it is worth I it. Know. There you go. Oh man, look at them. Yeah, I gotta get both of those. And then they kiss, as they should. 
They look great. I mean, they just look so much better when you can like actually scan their faces and make the toy, you know? Yeah. But you could also screw that up, as sure. we've seen over the years. Sure. Uh scan scans don't a figure make. Yeah. Uh let's get this. So now are you familiar with the the Bail Organa? I think they released with Revenge of the Sith that has the cloth, like the hugely oversized cloth robe. No, I don't think I am. There's, I think, three different Bail Organas that are available. This one, one from, uh, maybe four different, because there's one that comes with Leia, oh, yes, yes, Baby yes, Leia. Yes, yes, yes. I do know this one that you're talking about. With the huge oversized cloth? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but give me a Kenobi one. Like, where, you know? I mean, Jimmy Smith, we just need... I need a good Smiths figure. I just want to recreate that scene where he gets the hell out of there at the end of Revenge of the Sith. Uh, He's jumping the speeder. Because you got a jet figure. The jet figure exists. Yep. It'll be the Jedi, the little kid Jedi. Oh, we got a great beard on Obi-Wan right now. A great, definitely real beard, not one that they glued on. And the mullet. And the mullet. Look at this guy. Where's your staff, Jar Jar? Where's your electrified staff? Although he does have a walk with purpose. It's true. Like, that's a New Yorker's walk, if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Misa so smiling to see you. Senator Padme. Misa Palos here. Looky, looky, Senator. Misa Jedi arriving. And that's it. <laughs> I think and then and then he comes back to ruin the galaxy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, come on, Bale. I just realized after what he did to poor uh, Jet Lucas's little Jedi kid at the end, that's where he got the name Bale. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jet doesn't even say, like, get out of here, go. He no, just or leaves. help me. Yeah, yeah. He just flips in the frame, yeah. blocks a couple of blaster shots, and then gets gunned yeah. down. Yeah. But at least he got better treatment than his poor sister who got cut from the uh-huh. uh, that little uh, Mon Mothma scene. Yeah, which is a good scene. That scene sh- They should have put that scene back in the movie. Like especially now, it feels like that's that scene and be the cool. corresponding scene when they when Padme has the meeting with Palpatine to, to present yeah. that sort of yeah, option, yeah, yeah. and he's he gets actually sinister, yeah, with them. Yeah, those scenes. I wish they would put them in. Look, look at this. Look yeah. at that face. He looks that great. is a suave he Jimmy Smith's great. face. What a king. What a king. Like my wife and I are trying for a family. <laughs> Isn't it funny that he and Boss Nass can exist in the same universe? <laughs> Isn't it fantastic that it's the two great. of them can I, exist? I think about that a lot, like how Stellan Skarsgård's character and like uh you know Captain Tarples are <laughs> together. They can be <laughs> together if we really wanted them to be. I don't know why I'm only picking Gungans, but I feel like it makes sense. Or, I mean, he legitimately, as an art dealer on Coruscant, could have had uh, interactions with Jar Jar, Senator Jar Jar, coming in yeah. to do some shopping for Life Day. I think, uh, look, I think there's a non zero chance there's a Gungan in Andor season two. I think if they had any, if they had any, you know, balls, they would put Gungans in those shows again. That's my take. The fact that none have shown up. I think it's annoying. It's ridiculous on a lot of different levels that and yeah. also I love Andor. But yeah. but his Put some sort name of, aliens in there. But I don't know why he's so embarrassed about doing Star Wars as a creator. Well well, here's what I'll say. I saw him at celebration this year and it felt like a a, a complete 180 where he was like kind of like, okay, I'm the cool guy here. People like me. Star Wars is good, you know. And it was very interesting to see that. Um, yeah, that we haven't seen any 
Gungans. Well, did we see the... Gungans in the percent we the in Bad Batch when we not Bad Batch in Tales of the Jedi when we see Ahsoka at Padme's funeral? Do we see an animated mm. Boss Nass? Do we see the that part of the funeral procession around the coffin? I don't in know. In animation? I yeah, I'd have to go watch it again. I don't know. Now I'm just watching Attack of the Clones. That's just what this has turned into. <laughs> What's your favorite scene? Ooh. Well, it's Dexter. No question, it's Dexter. You I want to hear Jawa this, this Tales you of know? Dexter's Diner. Let's just have Tales of Dexter's Diner. Well, I mean, now we're talking Star Wars detours. <laughs> That's all detours was. And how much of that have you seen? 13 episodes. And so what is your thought for why it can't exist? Do I want to break the, 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 seal? the character right now? I don't know if I want to break the seal. I don't think it will ever see the light of day. That's what I thought. I don't want to talk about it. I was surprised that. the leak happened. A surprise, yeah. but not surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was not us. It was not us. That was not an episode we had. So, so I guess 14 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Although that wasn't a full episode. That was only five minutes or something. Okay, so this is meant to just fall apart. So this is going to be just a pain to do anything with. Yeah. This is a busted battle droid. Super destroyer droid. Yeah. So he's just going to lay in a pile right there. We're just going to leave Not him. Not a super destroyer droid, a super battle droid. Y yes. Uh-oh, we got these little worm boys coming in. Speaking of a super worm boy, uh oh, you want to oh, open up Elon Sleeves Bergano? Absolutely, absolutely, I do. With with his death sticks, we yeah, get death that's sticks. Cool. That's cool. I mean, he's gonna look great next to Danny and Ahmed. This was a figure that I knew I had to get once I knew it existed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those it's three like we, probably will fit together really well, right? Because what is he? Is well, he a piece of the bar? So what he has is a piece yeah. of the counter that attaches oh, to sure. a piece of the counter that comes with Obi-Wan. Oh. So you can... there, there. So there's yeah, Obi-Wan yeah, on the yeah, same yeah. counter. So you can make the whole side of the bar. It's crazy. I'm missing one figure from this set. Who? Which is Ivida, who's just a nightclub oh. patron. Sure. So those funny. imperial dignitaries cool. they did from the saga. Yeah. Star Wars old guy collection. <laughs> I mean, that's just who I want. Those are just the characters that I like. Oh, it's an old human man? Yeah, I would like it. Like, I want Palpatine's office. Give me that Palpatine's yeah. office playset. Yeah. And just him hanging around with his cronies. Yeah. Hi, Bibble. What a guy. <laughs> what a guy. Ralph's Death Sticks is my wife's go to lame Star Wars thing. Like, how can Andor be in the same universe as Death Sticks? Yeah. Jedi Poodoo. What if the second season of Andor just completely throws out and like it, it's just wall to wall aliens? Would like the clips great. just haven't shown. It's just. Yeah, I would love that. Gilroy is finally just relaxed. Like I got the first season out of the way. I can yeah. go anywhere with it. I have nothing to prove. Yeah. And he brings in the, the last season. He brings in the Mongo Beefhead tribe. Everyone gets to see the Mongo Beefhead tribe finally. In brings action. in that uh, that Warwick Davis character from Solo. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's get Enfys Nest in uh -huh. there. Man, would love it. Chewbacca. Really... Let's have Chewbacca. Yeah. Who could he realistically bring in for an alien? 
Although, you know uh, what? Honestly, Gilroy is a bit of a jerk if he sure. doesn't give... Uh, just give Diego his, his Java. I I think about this constantly, and it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. It's a jerk move at this point. Like, you have hey, a show. He can deal with the underworld. Yeah. Have it, it be like the tail to, end of a scene. It doesn't, even, it doesn't have to be Jabba. Just give him a hut. Yeah, but he really wants Yaba. No, wants... I get it. I get it. Although, if I, if I had the ability to give Diego a gift, mm -hmm. uh, an action figure gift, mm -hmm. the uh, Jabba mm -hmm. that they put out, that one we had, episode one we were talking about. Yes. The one with yes. the gong. Yeah. Yes. Is is labeled as having real feel skin and has a little touch panel <laughs> that you can put your finger into the box to touch the gross. real feel Java skin. Gross. Gross, gross, gross. But it's ex but yeah. it's what he wants. It's that is wants. exactly what he's asking for. It's what he wants and it's what he deserves, honestly. Why has no one gifted him the real feel Java? Yeah from episode one yeah you're all a bunch of jerks uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's very funny how this scene just feels like smugglers run at disney world like it's just it feels like they just reused this background for smugglers run i mean if you can really use the assets why not yeah okay so we can put his gun that he never uses his blaster into he actually does have Elon Sleeves Bergano has a holster. Oh, okay. But he has oh really hard. Yeah. Quote unquote. Well, soft I wonder goods. if it was always I wonder if it was always that hard or if it's just been 20 years. <laughs> he this great. actor is still acting, isn't he? Like constantly working character like, parts. I think Matt. Uh, he's in the Matrix. He's got stories to tell. Matt Doran is his name. Yeah. Um, he's Australian, of course. Uh, he was in something in 2020. Oh, he's in Auntie Donna. Weird. What Attack of the Clones folks have you had on the talk show? Ooh, a good Any? question. Uh, Put the one Sue's Bagano in his We had this guy, this guy who was the props guy on the Chris Gethard show, was also a props guy on Attack of the Clones. We had him on. How did he wind up? I don't know. Props guy I don't know. for a movie genuinely... that shot in Australia. He's, he's Australian. He was Australian. But what, did he just move to Brooklyn? I don't know. I don't really remember what his deal was. Um, it, it's a shame when the show. I mean, one of the conceits of George Lucas talks is sometimes you don't go in depth with the guests like you should yeah, to figure yeah. out these things. Well, he was also it was a stage show, and it was. I feel like we had a like different vibe of the stage show. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've had okay, so we've had Ahmed Best. We've had. Mm, uh, Jerome Blake was in London. Played Opo Rancisis. <laughs> we had Don Bees, who was a like R two guy, um, and like a droid guy, and built models. Uh, We're doing Kit Fisto now, by the way. Oh, we like that. We had that might be it. Who would you pursue? From Attack of the Clones. Uh, from Attack of the Clones, let's see. I mean, tomorrow would be wild. Um, That's when you take the show down to New Zealand, yeah, right? New Zealand or whatever, yeah. I would love... Um, you know who was really... I worked on a movie with Joel Edgerton. He was rad, and I feel like he would be really good. Um, He'd probably do it in a heartbeat. Yeah, I, I have never asked, but I bet he would do it. Um... Alethea McGrath, who played Jocasta New, who I believe isn't, is dead. Isn't believe uh, is dead. the Sam Wessel actress still acting? 
Oh yeah, but she. The problem is when they're in Australia or New Zealand, like the time change is so hard to do it. I really tried for Silas Carson for um, London, and it didn't happen. But I really tried hard. Yeah, I, um, I can't imagine now with Edinburgh being a thing that you're looking at and having just done London that uh, you want to yeah. eventually make it to like the Melbourne Comedy Festival. Maybe I would love to go to Australia or something. It's just it's so expensive, you know. And and the money you make on it is not necessarily. Uh... Oh, you but you never got to this expecting to make money. No, but <laughs> I, I. It's nice to break even on stuff. Yes, we'll and if, have fun in Edinburgh. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, well, everyone, check out our May the Fourth live stream, uh, which may or may not be a fundraiser for us to go to Edinburgh. <laughs> So what I'm hearing is it definitely will be and should. Definitely will be, and it will be, and it should, yes. Oh, okay. Here we are. We're in the bar. About to so go spot by the cameos. Lieutenant Danny Faitoni. Ahmed Beck. Ahmed Beck. I don't the, know. Oh, the look, for, look for the patron. See if you can spot the patron that they're selling as oh, a figure. The, 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 Twilight, uh, the Twilight? Yeah. She's sort of orangey funny. pattern skin suit. Yeah. It's really funny watching this now and looking at everyone in the background and being like, oh, you're all on green screens put together. Like, you got none of these people. Oh, this, the this shot is assembled. Yeah, I've never noticed it until right now. That's so funny. You would have thought the movie was shot during COVID. Yeah. Okay, there's Ahmed. I feel like next to Ahmed is that woman, the, the Twi'lek character. Here's Elon Sizbagano. Who's in the foreground? Uh, it's just a ball. Why, why, why don't we get an action figure of her? Yeah. There's Zam. Zam, we love Zam. We love you, Wesso. Oh, yes, <laughs> we do. Uh -huh. They all look great. Everybody looks great in this scene. Honestly, Attack of the Clones is peak Star Wars for Patrick. Like this is like the most I mean, it's it's enthralling. It really is. It's such a weird movie and I love it. Also, they they totally must have been metal plating these cuz look how metallic yeah. the lightsaber hilts yeah. are only for this line. Uh, yeah. probably a carcinogen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't be opening any of these. <laughs> <laughs> so my pitch for yes. a future edition of yes. one of the live shows is you just yeah. have a person on stage unboxing action figures. Sure. You just, just want to be on stage. That's what you're pitching right now. Listen, I didn't say it had to be me. I don't even say I'm traveling anywhere. But <laughs> if you just want a person with a whole crate of action figures silently yeah. opening... Yeah. I just need I need excuses to open this stuff. Is all I'm saying, Patrick. I get it. I get it. I don't. I don't know if you quite do. Why? Because I'm not doing it. Also, why isn't Woo Her like with with whatever your your bar is at home? Just set up there, sure. Presiding over your home bar. Yeah. Here we got Tonway. We're gonna oh, open we love her. Owen. Dad, Tonway's here. It's my baby Boba Fett impression. He Logan would I think would do the show. Yeah, there's some weird stuff there, so I feel like we may want to. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like maybe a weird dude. <laughs> God, Conway's here. I have a whole stack of Daniel Logan F eight by tens that he left <laughs> on his table at Dragon Con after <laughs> it closed down. That's a very funny thing to have for the weekend. I mean, if you just yeah. had to see a stack of random Daniel Logan eight by tens on a yeah. table, now was them, it right? Was it Boba headshots or was it modern day Daniel Logan? No, it was modern was... Daniel Logan. It wasn't wasn't Boba. Yeah, that's really funny. Why wouldn't you want to document who you're meeting then? No, I get it. So is the is this little clone pod? Is that empty? It is empty. That's so funny. So Why I not guess put you can little... fill it with maybe whatever pull. you want. Catch up. Little baby boba in there. Yeah. Here we go. One more time. You ready? Dad, 
Tom Wayne's here. There you go. I don't animate oh. her walking. There. This is this is about the rate, right? That she's walking through. The... <laughs> is Tonway in uh, Bad Batch? I can't remember. There's so many. She of them is. Show up. She's still yeah. in Bad Batch. Isn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't she the. They also released the only other Kamino when they released as a figure was who is the prime minister? Lama what is Su? Name? Lama Su. They released the Lama Su. I don't have the Lama yeah. Su though. Yeah. Oh no, Ton Ton uh, spoilers. Can I give a spoiler for Bad Batch? Yes. Fennec Shand kills Ton Wei. Okay, so Ton Wei is the one who died. And then so the one that's still there is Um Nalase. Nalase. Yeah. I mean, she can't even hold the container. Come on. <laughs> Can she wear it? Oh, she could like wear it as a space helmet. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. But she's got full body. Look, there's no weird. They sculpted the. She'd fit with the Bad Batch figures that are coming out now. Yeah. Getting Omega. Yeah. I do have an episode one thing that Misa I haven't honored yet. To be taken on. Misa honored to be taken on. This a heavy burden. Misa uh-huh. accept this with muy, muy humility and uh, and she's like, Jar Jar, get the fuck out of here. Go. Of course. Misa stay. Oh. oh, is this the part where he smiles at the camera? No, it's the other shot. Uh, we have a Django fat. Oh, is this one where his head comes off? It is not that, but it is the deluxe clip-on Ooh. armor. Okay. He looks like um, Timothy Oliphant. He, he does. He? he looks like Cobb he Van. Looks like, he looks like Cobb Van. <laughs> so He's everyone really who was complaining that will have a Cobb Van in three and three quarter, uh, here's your solution. There you go. That's so funny. So have you worked out, uh, is there a regularity with which you all are doing the shows now? Is it like once a month or is it just whenever, when it comes together? Whenever it comes up. My guess is we'll do another live stream this summer before Edinburgh, probably June maybe. Another fundraising um, live stream. Hey, look, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> apartments are very expensive in Edinburgh. Um, also, if anyone is looking for an apartment in Los Angeles for the month of August, happily we'll rent it out to you. Um, Where can they reach you? On Twitter? Uh, all the stuff. You know, I'm around. I'm not that hard to get in touch with. <laughs> she also uh, window. Yeah, it's open. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, so we'll probably Has it do been one different more. to not be local anymore? Uh, yeah, because they're gonna fly places now, you know. Uh, it's 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 not that different. I mean, unless we're doing live shows, and for the most part, I will fly back to them unless it's at a point where uh, flights are very expensive, like the Christmas show that we did. Um, but uh, you know, we did those two in New York, and at those were both good. Hire a local, Patrick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that, but not letting that happen. It's already been considered. I'm sure it has. <laughs> I'm sure. This this movie's so good, guys. Every scene in this movie, I'm like, oh, this scene's good. No, this scene's good. No, this scene's good. Yeah, you, you've done the show for how many years? You haven't had a single handmaiden on? There's like 70 of them. Yeah, I was. Uh, I saw Rose Byrne when I was in New York for the last shows. I did see her there. Uh, just hanging out in Brooklyn. Um could we I ask got one... what? You could have asked. Could have asked. Um, I almost got one of the episode one ones for the London shows, but I did not. Um, but you wish you had now. Yeah, would have been nice guest to have... Yeah, someone else. <laughs> Look, those shows were not easy. Those shows were not. Uh, they were very difficult to book and then maintain the guests. Um, well, I mean, it's a, a party weekend. It was a party weekend. It was also Easter weekend. So it, people have considerations for family. 
Yeah, and then just uh, we were supposed to have the uh, Little Princess Leia girl, and then the venue uh, found out that she was a child the day of the show, even though I had sent her name and photo to them earlier. So then they said, hey, we need a license to have a kid here. And I said, okay, great. Well, let, you should have figured that out a month ago. And they did not. So that didn't happen. So that's now going to be one of the chief disappointments in her life that she'll carry forward. I mean, look, I I did meet her and I talked to her about it. And she was very, very nice. A very nice child. Oh, here we go. Someone to hear you, honey. <laughs> Jedi by the look of him. Oh, my oh. God. Hello, Dex. Oh, take a seat. I'll be right with you. What a you want a Jawa juice? Oh yes, thank you. Do you not own WA Seven? Do you have that figure? Oh, I don't. I should. Hey, old buddy. Ugh. Oh, picks up his pants. We're just gonna, I'm gonna do this scene. Oh. Okay. Here's here's oh. what I want. This is what oh, I want. My. Here's what the fundraiser I, I want from the three of you. you can tell me what this is. Yeah. Well, I want you to do, do I want you to do a silent since rewatch. Since I was prospecting on Subterrell beyond the outer rim. Can you tell me where I came from? This baby belongs to them cloners. What you got here is a Camino Saber dart. I wonder why it didn't show up in the analyst archives. It's funny, these little cuts on the side that give it away. These analysis droids only focus on symbols, huh? I should think you Jedi would have more respect for the difference between knowledge and wisdom. Yeah, that was kind of menacing when he leads in. Wisdom. Camino, I'm not familiar with it. No, no, it's beyond the outer rim. I'd say about 12 parsecs uh, outside the Rishi maze. Should be easy to find, even for those droids in your archives. These uh, Kaminoans keep to themselves. They're cloners, damn good ones, too. That's rules. Dex should be in everything. Oh, depends. How, depends on what, Dex? On how good your manners are. And how big your pocketbook is. <laughs> Again, I want you all... To do all the dialogue uh -huh. as you uh -huh. remember it uh -huh. throughout the entirety of the film. I mean, this movie, I feel like I've got most of the inflections down on the lines, you know? <laughs> do do the, the George Lucas talk show dub. Oh, man. Do the ADR to the film. That's how big your <laughs> pocketbook is. I mean, it's not a bad, it's, it's better than this. It doesn't, yeah, it's not terrible. But he's already a buff character, and you would sort of expect him to look a little. Do his arms? This is oh. weird. That's weird. But oh, also, it's strange. electronic. But I think you can hear this. Can you hear that screeching? Yeah. The last that the batteries have enough in them to produce is astounding. Yeah. But it is terrifying because it goes on for about two minutes. That's so sad. So do his yeah, arms I don't know. Do his arms go forward? His arms swivel. Okay. So I guess he can like prepare a cob salad. A cob vamp salad. He said it, so I don't have to. Oh, his, were you making no, that was that on purpose? <laughs> there's no knee joints, <laughs> so he's permanently locked in that stance. Okay. I guess to counterbalance. Yeah. He, his stands and this thing is heavy i don't know what kind of weird battery is in that thing I'm yeah kind of wary of opening it and he's got a random extra blaster thing with uh yeah this is fireable it's got a okay. spring in there good good huh. he, i think it's the only django i have from this line there you go you so, got uh you got llama sue I don't have a Lama Sue. What is it on eBay right now? It was expensive the last know. time I looked. You got, let's see, who's who's Attack of the Clones centric? You got uh, Poggle the Lesser? Well, you ask a question like that. 
Yeah. And my answer. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. you got Sand Hill? You got Sand Hill over here? Got Sand Hill over here. Oh, wait. I didn't even ask about Watt Tambor. Well, guess what? There's also a Watt Tambor. Is there a second half? Oh, there is. is. A- I don't have a second half. The second half, I believe, has uh, like Newt? Newt Gunray. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I only have one half of the war table. Oh. But we're going to have to open this, right? I think we got it. What scene are we up to? Oh, there he is. So he's standing. You're he's right. Standing. He's not in the I'm chair here. yet. Yeah, he's talking to this little Jedi named Liam. <laughs> I mean, That's... you yeah, you're really not going to have him floating above the only characters he's on eye level with in the entire yeah. series. Yeah. Although, what kind of a dick move would it would be if he was like hovering above them? <laughs> oh, Pago the Lesser's cane just fell about. A little bone staff. Um, yeah, what are there, like six kids there? How many younglings are there in the room? It's a lot. It's a lot of. Uh, uh, a lot of. Um human kids and then there's like four alien kids so they owe us i think that girl in the back, is that girl in the back the only asian character in the original six movies probably i can't think of any other one. like not not like uh even makeup characters i think even if you include characters that are in makeup like an ala yeah. Sekiro or yeah, she's white. Um, well, but I mean, you have like Luminara, who's I think South Asian. But I'm talking. Wow. I didn't have dinner yet. What What are you doing? Well, it's it's eight thirty. It started at six. You know. What can you order? You gonna order something in? You gonna cook? Well, maybe I just have cereal. Maybe I'll, I'll go make some cereal. <laughs> also, you, you you can dictate how long we go. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm riding this out. <laughs> I would out. love to just even get through the actual Attack of the Clones half of this action uh, figure like, line. Yeah. I gotta know what cereal you're you got. Honey bunches of oats with almonds. Ooh. That's a that's a more mature cereal. Yeah, I think so. There's no there's no cartoon character on the box. No. This is a real one. Accessories here. Oh, that's okay. That's about to rip that off, but that's actually part of the robes. Oh, there's so much disintegrating. Oh no! No, it's all of the all of the rubber ties. Oh sure. Ooh, we have Academy Award nominee Keisha Castle Hughes currently starring on The Bad Batch. As Queen Jamila. She's not that on the Bad Batch, though, for anyone who... No, she's someone else on the Bad Batch. She is one of the cloner people or something? uh, One of the Imperials? Mount Tantus. Yes, yes, yes. So we got... Some representations on the table. Looks like they just sprayed ketchup on it. <laughs> we got some holograms of the droid, and I guess mm-hmm. the uh, I don't know why the clone dropships would be on there in this scene. Um, they shouldn't be there yet. 
Because the the well, clones don't make they make their like appearance at the end. But so does the Death Star. The Death Star shows up at the end. When he grabs it and runs. Yeah. Yeah, this is this entire set's non canon. Oh, <laughs> bunch of bullshit just throwing stuff together. <laughs> Oh, there's so I got so much disintegrating uh, elastic. You did this for yourself. Right <sighs> Listen, I was just carrying on a tradition of not opening these that has clearly been going on for over 20 years. He's in Camino. And I think we also have a wet hair version of him that came out. Ton Way. Ton Way's here. <gasps> Ton Way. Are we going to get Boba? Uh, you got a little bit. He's got to meet Lama Sue first. Now, you know what? The names are making me hungry right now. <laughs> uh-huh. Because they all sound like great dishes. Yes. Dad, Ponway's here. All right, Boba. They don't look good. The Kevin Owens look like a PlayStation 1 game. So do you think they look better in the Bad Batch? Probably. Probably. But I do like their floaty movement. Like, that's just... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this whole... Um, the whole set and everything looks very fake now so it just all all of it coming together looks fake. feels very dreamlike mm -hmm. like if you had told me that like dex had poisoned him and this is all a fever dream mm -hmm. i would have believed it uh, the kaminoans <laughs> kaminoans kaminoans Ralph is saying they look great and i want to be clear just because i'm saying it doesn't look good doesn't mean i don't love it I just want to be clear. <laughs> it, absolutely right. The the tabletop for this thing does look like a pizza. Yeah. Or just a bowl of jello. Uh-huh. Uh, but there's your Poggle the Lesser. What a king. What it's a, a damn good, king. And it's a good Poggle the Lesser. Yeah. And there's this little uh, cane. With this cane in his good. hand. Look at that. Great. He looks great. But unfortunately, you have to get this whole set just to get him. You know who he kind of looks like? Pirate King Gorian Shard from this season of The Mandalorian. So you're saying that uh, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to get us a Gorian Shard figure? I mean, I would love it. Should they flock it? Know. Like Moss Man, don't get my don't get my hopes up. <laughs> give me a give me a twelve inch Hot Toys Gorian shard. Yeah, Hot Toys, what are you doing? If you're not doing that, what are you doing? I think I think we kind of have to do Watt Tambor after that, don't we? Absolutely, we do. Where's where's my Watt? Look, I even have an extra Dex. Oh no! Yeah. I I actually I have two. Two extra. I have one that's already unboxed. I have the one that's on the desk. Come on. That's I don't know what nice. I'm doing. What am I doing? I don't know. We probably should open it. this at some point, too. Absolutely. Look at that little hat. I don't have that one. I've never had that one. I, I noticed Griffin's going back to wearing the hat. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <gasps> no, no attachments. Mm -mm. Where's that little uh where's that little no button for Grogu to smash? Oh boy, Padme. Listen, I know that this that Watt Tambor is in here somewhere. Look, we can't we're not opening original trilogy stuff, or else we could have opened this. Oh, I've thought about buying him so many times, but he's so expensive now. 
He is. It almost would be stupid to open this, huh? Yeah. But. Oh, man. He looks great. Look how good he looks. He looks great. And he weighs a ton. Like, he can do some serious damage. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, you don't want to drop it on your foot. (laughs) Oh, there he is. I Mm -hmm. knew. I knew what Tambor was in here somewhere. I knew what Tambor was in here somewhere. (laughs) There he is. He looks good, too. Yeah, he's a good figure. And his little little rocket. His little Mm -hmm. rocket. Mm Mm-hmm. Let's get him open. Man, I just want them all. Have we got official confirmation that he was a reference to Jeffrey Tambor in naming? I don't know. Because that's the only thing I have ever thought. Like, where are you going to get that name? Mm Mm-hmm. And that would have been still at the sort of, you know, uh, the Larry Sanders show would have been in the zeitgeist. Yeah. Yeah. He would have just been in Muppets from Space. He, he would have just been in Muppets from Space, <laughs> solidifying his place in the firmament. As Edgar... Oh, what's his last name? Edgar? I've told you I was sunset for all that, right? Mm-hmm. I tell you, I've got my hair cut just after uh, like I passed uh, F. Murray Abraham coming out of hair, <laughs> hair and makeup. Edgar. No. Or as he's known in that film, uh, he's uh, he's Noah. Yeah, yeah. The the complicated and problematic. And as he's known in Hollywood right now, persona non grata. Uh, So sad that he would. uh, Anyone doesn't realize. Oh, you don't do. Shit like that. What do you, what is your problem? Well, okay, a little rocket there. What has he got? Has he got the disintegrating? Yeah, he's got the disintegrating little elastic. Here we go. Is this another uh who did the voice? This is a Matthew Wood voice? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> I bet it's Ben Burt. That's my guess. So you got Ben. I think it's Matthew Wood. Um, Behind the scenes. Oh, oh wait. Matthew Wood was in Clone Wars. (laughs) Hey, we both win. Ben Burt was the movie. (laughs) Ben Burt was the movie. Matthew Wood was Clone Wars. There he is. Look at him. What a guy. That's a great figure. But look at the detail on the robes and these sculpts. He got feet. He's got feet. He's got, he got legs. Feet. He knows how to use them. Wow. You don't really notice the pinstriping. Yeah. In the movie. Yeah. Well, is it like that in the movie? That feels bluer than he is in the movie. You always see him in weird lighting, though, like Geonosian lighting you know, or in Mustafar. So I don't think it's probably representative no, of what no, the... No, it is, it is blue. It's blue pinstripe. Looking at a picture of it now. Huh. I mean, never real. He never actually existed. I guess that's He's true. holy CG, isn't he? No. Yeah. He's real. There man. we go. A little console so you can stand adjacent to the war table. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But I got a surprise for you. Let the judge your level of excitement. The oh, attack quiet. of the clones line. That's a Phantom Menace figure. Uh-huh. You ready? Gra-gra? Is it Gragra? Oh, my guy. My guy. Take him out. Put that hat on him. <laughs> Let's see it. Trent Lock, so you- Chris Dodd, get him out. So you don't have a lot, Dodd figure. I don't have a lot, Dodd. I have the other two. How wow. do you not have now from the if you were to include him 
in the I three almost, choices. I almost bought him at some. What's your favorite? Which one looks the best to you? Well, I mean, this one looks really good. But I still think it's that Rune Hako because the arms. This guy's arms, you can't really bend. It doesn't look like. We'll find out in a second. Yeah. This is Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. And it comes with a little Sidious hologram. Yeah. He looks good. He looks good. Finish my cereal. It was good. Well, you know what that means. Time for dessert. Oh, boy. You know what makes a great dessert is a second bowl of cereal. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, now you sound like a kid who was forced to smoke the entire pack of cigarettes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh. I don't like cereal anymore. I am going to make a little smoothie. I'm going to do that. Yeah, you're you're uh, you're an adult. You need a proper meal. I'm an adult. We're gonna make a little smoothie. Let's see, do his arms move? I mean, he can raise his arms. Oh, you know yeah. what? His cloak, his cloak comes off. Oh, interesting. Wait, let me oh, see. Oh boy. Uh oh. That's a. Uh... That's a night and day. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on, I gotta see Lot Dodds on his body. All right, here we go. Let's see him. Okay, so here's the Lot Dodd you know. Yes, yes. But oh, <laughs> oh wow, he looks like a human wearing a mask. Because that head I, is like just big enough. So, but look at that sculpt. It's a great sculpt. It is a great sculpt. Wow, he does look good. The sculpt and the paint on that is better than the um, the Phantom Menace guys. Yes. The paint, I think, is where the Phantom Menace figures fall down for me. I agree. I agree. Which way does his hat go? Is it Pope to the front? Is it what? I'm assuming the ornamentation goes to the front, like the little ridge. Where's this card? I don't know. A little Pope hat. No, no, I'm wrong. Ridge to the back. Wow. See, sometimes, Ken, you don't know everything, you know? You got a Pope hat. You got to be willing to accept your mistakes. I accept all of my mistakes. I'm opening them right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to put him over with the Senators with Orn Frita okay. and Jar Jar yep. on this increasing mess of a desk. Now, where are these going to go? Are they just going to stay on that desk? What's yeah, this is, this is my desk now. This is now my workspace in perpetuity. Okay. Now, they, uh, I am going to Put them in individual baggies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Make it a smoothie. <laughs> you know, you had two years of pandemic shows. How was making a smoothie never part of any of them? It's a great question. I'm going to mute this so I can finish making this smoothie. <laughs> I mean, I, for one, was all for hearing the smoothie. Oh, this is, I'm trying to put this box back together for this Geonosian war table set, and I put it backwards. Because everything's going to be difficult. Okay. All back together. Ah, nurse. Got to put little clips in there. Why I'm keeping this box still, I don't know. I have no justification for it. It's a sickness, Ken. It's a sickness. Listen, I'm opening these things. That should be enough, right? 
<laughs> Listen, do you just want me to put a little tag on the lot done for the estate sale? Uh, I mean, there's multiple ones. There's multiple yeah. ones that ask that tag. Yeah, let me know. Let me know before we're done. Yeah, I wanted to multitask during these, so yeah. If you see anything you want, now's the time. <laughs> Uh, you know, we haven't opened in okay. all of this Clone Wars. Yep, clone. We haven't we haven't done an actual clone. It's kind of boring. This one's got some color to it. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, the enthusiasm is probable. I'm not a clone guy. I don't really care. But he's got a name. He's, co- he's like he, he's like Corporal Pfefferman. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Some of them must have picked non-cool names, uh-huh. right? Got a, uh-huh. like a Cody, you got a Rex, you got a Bly. He's Pfefferman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Binky. <laughs> what would you name your clone? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, Sio Bibble. <laughs> I'm Corporal Bibble. He can't be the only Sio Bibble out there. I mean, there's Sio Bibble Jr. <laughs> mm-hmm. be, Sio Bibble, I don't think, was ever in Clone Wars. Let's see. Not even in the film? So. In the animated film? I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, he is. He's in two episodes of Clone Wars. Speaking role? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, wow. He's not... He was not able to go to Italy for Attack of the Clones. So nine months after they wrapped... He shot his stuff on a blue screen and then was digitally inserted. Oh, what is what is he doing in Attack of the Clones? He's just in the in the. He's just there. Yeah, he's just standing there, right? Mm-hmm. With the queen or in the background. Yeah. I mean, hey, they wanted to include him. That's a plus. They could have just left him out of the film. Uh, Katie Lucas was the one who came up with the name Sio Biddle. Do you think that was the kind of dare that a daughter would give their father about? <laughs> yeah, put this in. Katie's the one that went on to write Clone Wars episodes, right? Yeah. Is that Katie? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, he's already got that yellowing of the... Oh, oh. Man, it's a weird shot, but <laughs> he's, he's, oh, got wow. that, that, he's got that crotch plate yellowing. That's so weird. That's such a specific place for it. Yeah, why would that plastic be made? Yeah. And it's only half of the... It's not the back half. Yeah. Ah, uh, Pfefferman. <laughs> With your ridiculous weapon that's included just to have an action feature. that'll. <laughs> and then an actual... Yeah, he's just going... You're going right into a Ziploc baggie, and that's where you'll live. Oh, no. Poor guy. I mean, at some point, maybe I'll set up a shelf that just has the dozens of various yeah. clones. Yeah. Now he just like he looks like he's into mime. Like a yeah. There's just maybe shoveling. Fire just root. Iron Man mime. And now he's into close-up magic. <laughs> Yeah, are there clones that, uh, like, is there a clone USO? Good question. That feels like that would have been an episode. Did, uh, it feels like, you know, Size Noodles came to, it, like, came to enter- entertain the troops. It's, oh. Oh, look at that. So what's neat, it, weird is the Geonosian does not get billing. Yeah. Also, just isn't the massive. That, isn't the massive the thing from the Tuscan Raiders, or are they on Geonosis? I guess they're also on Geonosis. 
Weird. You're coming up to that scene soon. I mean, it seems like they're just the universal, you know, the, the galactic guard dog now yeah. in Star Wars. Yeah. I think they determined that, that if you want a dog, you got that. If you want a cat, you got a loath cat. Uh -huh. Oh, is this a moment you remember? A little comment here. Oh, of course. Yeah, she, uh, when was that? Was that during the Oscar show? I don't remember. At one point, she goes, "You must contact me." And it was very, very funny. <laughs> so, how did the Rachel booking come about? Uh, someone had suggested her for Ask Cat, this other show that I was doing pre-pandemic, and I reached out and I never heard back to her reps. And then she tweeted something about the prequels, and I just tweeted, "Come on, at you talk show," and she said, "Yeah." And then we just DM'd and got her on. So is she is she a big Star Wars fan then? Yeah, big prequel fan. Big prequel head. Um, okay. Well, I'm engaging yeah. you to to yeah. book her on Force Five. Oh yeah. Since you have contact, ask her if she wants to show up for Star Wars collectibles. I can tweet at her. That's how you get her. <laughs> I don't know if it's her now. There's no verification. I can't mm. be sure. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good massive. Yeah, oh, the skull that is good. This. Yeah, that looks good. Great paint. Yeah. See, is this articulated? No. Hi, I'm a massive. How you doing? <laughs> oh, it does open and close. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Gene Ocean isn't bad. It's got some weird translucency to it. Yeah. But, yeah, that's... Now I see why the Massive got top billing. <laughs> I'm looking And at... it's a metal chain. You don't often get... Sure. Do you have... um? You got Kiati Mundi? I, th I might only have him. Did he get an Attack of the Clones release in the... I don't know. I know he was got a Phantom Menace release because I opened that in the. You find you that Pro out while we open Shock T. Oh, okay, Shock T. The only Jedi with like seven deaths across various media. Okay, which which one, which one was your favorite? I think the one where they like have her in the hallway and Revenge of the Sith. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, deleted scene, wasn't it? Deleted scene, yeah, yeah. Now, have you seen the uh, the fan edit that incorporates all the deleted scenes into Revenge of the Sith? Uh, the one that's like four hours long or whatever? Uh, uh oh, guess where we're at? Uh -oh. We're about to be a little hat. Oh, I have that figure. <laughs> hat? We have that we have that rubber robe. Uh -huh. That's her that's her peasant disguise. Look, there it is. Look, see, we yeah. have that. We have our little traveling disguise. What do you want? The thing I have uh, of the many things that astound me about the magic yeah. of the George Lucas talk show yes, over the years is uh, that there has never been at least a uh, uh, noticeable any any uh uh decency slips with with wado's outfit mm -hmm. over yeah. the years yeah i don't know how we go it because it is a uh minefield yes, of yes, yes potential disaster yeah his outfit is very different in this movie and i never really noticed it um yeah, it's a it's a tough it's a tough thing to navigate, but he does it. I don't know. He forgot his little fong thing at the last show. Uh, <laughs> his dance belt. Mm -hmm. I almost had to take a trip to Modesto. Mm -hmm. Or Imodesto. Yeah. 
<clears throat> yeah. His Modesto belt. I mean, it's not a bad Shock T. I mean, no. this is probably my least favorite because it looks the most clown-like of any of yeah. the makeup. Does she have a weird um, muzzle flash, too? She does. Her. Yeah. That is weird. I guess she's deflecting a blaster bolt. Yeah. But she's supposed to... Is it clip in? It doesn't clip into the lightsaber anywhere. Oh, I see. You're supposed to feed the blade through it. There we go. Huh. It's an interesting effect. We haven't really gotten it beyond this line. Yeah. It's just such a weird choice. Such a weird choice. I mean, it's not something I ever would have thought of as far as uh, as a kid going, I wish I had like energy that showed like they were <laughs> locked in time. Yeah. I mean, I would have thought, oh, this is a great weapon. Look at this like yeah. weird sort of yeah. axe she has on the fire, fire <laughs> lightsaber. It's so weird. But not, again, one that locked into that action pose. Yeah. Yeah, so this is like one of those one moment in time figures. I mean, it looks good. Shout out Look to Stevie. That. Shout out to Stevie. Shout out to Shout Stevie out to in, a, in a year and a half of our little uh, our, our our Animal Crossing collective. Yeah, it's not a... I mean, again, the paint on it, the sculpting, it's all yeah. great, but it is... Like, this is the one that feels like it's a figurine. It's yes. not a figure. It's... Yeah. it's it doesn't you might as well buy just like a PVC. Yeah. Like, I could put this next to my Smurfs. And I'm sure you will. I'm not saying I have any Smurfs. I have Smurfs. I believe you have Smurfs. Why are you so quick to believe that? I believe that you have Smurfs. What can I say? I think we need to open the Watto, though, don't we? It's probably time. So, in your experience over the years, yes, for guests who don't kn quite know what to expect from the show, yeah, do they have a harder time accepting Watto or George? That's a good question. And, and vibing like... and vibing with the energy that they're presenting. I think Watto is probably easier, just because he's very clearly not a human. Do you know what I mean? Right. Whereas George, they probably want to call him Connor more than they want to call him Griffin. Because so it, it requires him. more buy-in for for George, I think. For George, yeah, to get to get over and get in get engaged with it. I think so. I also think people know who George is, and most people don't know who Watto is. So I think it's easier to just be like, "This is a new guy that I'm meeting," versus like, "Oh, I know George Lucas," you know. Um, but I, I think it's also a case by case thing. You know, it's not always, it's not always the same. Uh, it just depends on who the guest is. Which is uh, the beauty of also the Amy Irving episode yes. or show. Because yeah. here's someone who intimately socialized and knew George and yeah. knows George. Yeah. yeah. I'll say this, uh, at our first London show, one of the guests didn't buy into Watto or George. <laughs> Which one was it? Was it? Oh, yeah, it was. It was Pierre, the prop maker. Um, no, it was not. He was great. Uh, look at this Watto. Is there? Is there? Are there people who have done the show outside of the outlier of the London show, mm -hmm. <laughs> who just never got on board? That you felt just never really. Um, yeah, there were a couple in the early days, but it really, it's rare. It's rare because that's like the one rule we give them is just like just act like this is. Just and play. Act. Just pretend. Have fun, you know. Um, so it's rare that it doesn't it doesn't happen. But it seems like also one of the greatest benefits, which is a weird phrase yeah. to say, of the lockdown. Yeah. Is the exposure that the premise yeah. was able to get of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So, so now you're going in all, and also the documentation of a body of work. Sure. I mean, there's, if anyone uh, wants to know what it is, there's not a lack of footage out there for them to watch, you know? Um, What's weird is it seems like, oh, this is like, you know, beautiful butterfly evolution. Like this is like a Pokemon evolution of Wado, yeah. but it's supposed to be again, like capturing his wings in motion. I think that's why I like this line is because they're doing weird shit with it, you know? And they're like trying stuff that I feel like the other versions of these toys do not try. Whereas this is just like, I don't know, this looks crazy, but it, it gives the uh, illusion of something. And look, they're, they're translucent. Yeah. Like I, I, when I think Wado, I don't think like gossamer wings. I know. Yeah. But a great sculpt. Yeah. Yeah. He's got like his adventure outfit on. <laughs> It's more, yeah. It's like the it, it's like it, the um, the great outdoors should star Dan Aykroyd, John Candy, and Watto. <laughs> That's what he looks like. He does look like the comic relief in Great yeah. Outdoors too. Yeah, yeah. Owen Baru. I was gonna head to Tashi Station with my girlfriend. Oh my god! But yeah, and a flight stand. I mean, we don't get that yeah. with the episode one release. Yeah. yeah. The feet look weird. Well, he's... Yeah, it's got he's the... Sort of like, the, the, sort of like, like clenching his toes. But, it, yeah, it's the it's how boxy they look. Yeah. Like, yeah. they look like they're supposed to be mounted, like those are meant to be on pegs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know what's in his pouches. Do you think they're all snacks? I, I would imagine money. Because he doesn't look like he's still in business or has any money in attacking sure. clones. For sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's Griffin owns snack. everything, Watto, right he's now. Snack. Hasn't he been sent just about pretty, everything? Pretty much. I don't think there's much else that he doesn't have. And they're not producing. It's a finite amount of yeah. Watto merch. There's no, there's no new Watto merch coming out. <clears throat> but there should. There should be some, like a, a, a Hot Toys Watto. Yeah, I look. Would love. Would love. What do you have left in here. Do you want to open another massive? Uh, sure. I have. Because... I have I'm meeting someone in 15 minutes. I just got a text, just so you know. Oh, look at that. So here's your Tuscan rate from the same Wait, collection. I love that. Also, how passport photo. <laughs> No, we got to take another one. You smiled. <laughs> no, no, no. Can't use it. No, can't do it. We need we need a serious one. Oh, that looks look sad. This, shot. this shot's good as hell. Oh, you guys can't even really see it. Oh, the the. It's like the, the. Yeah. Oh, but there was a uh, no. It was like the shadow of them on the right. Sort of a play on the same shadow we saw in the advertising for episode one. Yeah. On the side of the, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, this is one of the card backs. I actually have all the figures on the back of it. There's Watto, there's Team Doe, there's Lot. And... Yeah, we've opened them all. What a night, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the chop is saying they got rid of the Watto plushies at Galaxy's Edge. They did have Toydarian plushies for a little bit. Did they, oh, they specifically did? Think they were Watto? I think they just said they were Toydarian because they were selling them in a shop owned by a Toydarian. Do you agree uh, with this assessment of the show? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think that's about <laughs> as close as you're going to get, right? Also, the rubbered wool of it all. What a what yeah. a find! What a find! What a guy! Went to a baseball game with him a couple months ago. So which guests have surprised you with their enduring quality? Um, Because it's all—it's one thing for a guest to do a show and you get through it. It's like, that was great. Yeah. But when you get the recurring status where they're like, yeah, they're I mean, so vibing with the thing that they're like, yeah, I, I lo love playing. I love Rich Summer. I've always loved Rich Summer. I'd met him a couple times before that. But the fact that he's been on the Does show. Does he own he shirts? It's a great question, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not one to ask. 
Um, but the fact that he had been on so many times is wild, you know? Um, and is committed not, in so I'm many very, ways. Very, it's been a while. He hasn't been on in a while, but he, uh, yeah, he came on so much so, so quickly. Um, yeah, wool, wool is a weird one. Rich is a weird one. I mean, Rachel, Rachel's been on like five or six times at this point. Um, I mean, practically a regular. Let's see. Let's go to the IMDb. We'll see who's been on the most. It's like Jason, Darcy, Wall. Um, here we go. So, you know, right after we're done, I'm going to go ahead and tweet Rachel and ask her to come on for us. Sure. But I'm going to CC you. I'm going to CC you on it saying, Patrick thought this was oh. a good idea. Oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> Do I mean, this. if you're right. if you're bailing so quickly on your own idea, yeah. Okay, Robert Wall twelve episodes, Chris Gethard eleven episodes, Zach Cherry ten, Rich Summer it says five, but I know it's more than that. JD Amato eight, Manzuka six, Darcy six, Ben Schwartz six, Sharpling six, Rachel five, Paul Shear four. Yeah, that's a lot. So Wall holds the record. Will's the record. Will's got 12. I mean, my mom has 13, but Will has 12. Did you let Will know this? I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a competition uh, I want to see go back and forth now. Oh, here we go. Rich has eight. I don't know why it said Rich had five. Rich has eight. Are they counting oh, him in character? I think it's probably... Do you know why? I think it's probably because he's only credited as Stephen Charleston in some of them. So... <laughs> It doesn't count it in his full. Okay, we the other ones in that bag are doubles. Mastiffs, we do we have. Oh, that's a good one. Why we got a Nick just, just listed what? as a Nick as Nickdo. Why did they not name him? That's so weird. Six ninety nine at Kmart. This was a higher price. Yeah, but imagine those being six ninety nine uh, now. What a great look. Like, how often do you like I'm now I'm wondering what scenes we can spot the Nikto Jedi in. He's gotta be in he's gotta be in the um because look at that. Look how great he looks. Yeah. He's gotta be excuse me, in the the whatever. Geonosian battle. Yeah, battle arena. Where the uh where in sync we're supposed to be. I'm I oh, fuck, I've never asked anyone about that. I mean I wonder, I wonder who would know. I mean one of them. Sure. I've tried to get Joey Fatone on the show. It never has happened, but I've tried. Well, now you know what George felt when it came to Attack of the Clones. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't the story that they were that they shot? They shot. I, like I the believe they exists. Shot. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But I've never heard that officially confirmed. I've only heard that as like, you know weird apocryphal stories i don't know if that's true like i would i would like a a complete accounting of all of the weird cameos of folks that yeah. were stuck in like all the family oh, yeah. members yeah that, that's what wikipedia is supposed to be doing for us yes they're dropping the damn ball like is steven in it is steven in a scene is spielberg I in? So. i don't think so are any of the spielberg kids in any of the scenes? I don't think so. I mean, I've never heard that. Because aren't some of the Lucas kid friends in some of the scenes? I feel like probably a lot of those kids, like the Anakin friends on Tatooine and stuff like that, feel like... Yeah, it must have been like, you know, tell your tell your friend we can, you can be in a Star War. Yeah. Tell your friend if they fly out to Tunisia, they can be in a Star War. Well, this is... I don't know where the heck that's that? supposed to go. What? Is that? But it doesn't think... have like the thing. It has a post, like it's supposed to go in his uh -huh. lightsaber hilt. So what the? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, maybe that's why he's dead. Maybe that's why we don't yeah. see he was not a named character. Yeah, his lightsaber malfunctioned to turn into a whirlwind, and then he died. Oh, oh, he's the klutzy Jedi, Nikto. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, my lightsaber is glitching again. 
It's weird that they all talk like um talk like what's his name from Doctor Strange Love. Yeah. What the hell's his name? The guy who rides Slim the Pickens. bomb. I can't remember. Slim Pickens, thank you. You sure do drive a hard bargain. Is that me? What well, you got I am not hearing anything. You hearing something? Hang on. Oh. Do you have Did a you weird hear sound? that? No. A Wikipedia tab just started playing a Spanish McDonald's commercial. That's weirdly specific. That was weird. I don't know what that was. Um, weird. I think we've got all but two. Of the Attack of the Clones things open. Here we go. So what I are the last two? We're in the final stretch. I'm going to dump all of this trash down on the floor. Cool. But you're uh, going to pick it up later, right? We didn't even get the episode one stuff that I forgot to open the last time we had the episode one episode. Wow. Didn't open that. Wow. We didn't open this. That's a good one, too. So many Jar Jars in that line. Yeah. He was in everything. He deserved it. So we got a Mace Windu. For Attack of the Clones? Deluxe Mace Windu. Okay. What's the price on this? No price tag? Uh, no price tag. I okay. would say that this was probably $9.99 at most. Under 10 Oh, the good old days. So we got a Battle Droid. And we got Mace. Yeah. So we curious one... the last one is. Yeah, what do you think the last one is? I will say it is not a Jedi. It's not a Jedi. Is it a droid? It is not a droid. You have five more questions. Okay. Is it a human? It is a human. Is it Count Dooku? You won. <laughs> <laughs> but not only is it Count Dooku, it's the deluxe action Dooku. Okay. Are you are you familiar with the deluxe action I Dooku? Feel like, I feel like that was the Dooku that I had, but I don't remember what it came with. Now, do you you still have all of your Attack of the Clones, right? Yeah, they're in there. They're in the other room. I'm trying to remember your five. Did you pick any Attack of the Clones for your five? I picked Ponda Baba. I picked the Demoidians. They came together. I picked... I don't remember what else I picked. You didn't pick Dex. Didn't pick Dex. I don't know why I didn't pick Dex. I picked Tarkin. Uh... I don't remember. Would you change any of those now? I do like that Dex figure a lot. I mean, as far as the ones that I have, yeah, probably Dex would go in there. But I don't know what I would take out because I don't remember what I put in. Now, as we're winding this down, yeah, you're not going to open that Dex and enjoy that Dex? Well, but here's the thing. I think I have an open Dex. This is a second Dex. You I believe I have a what? Keep them in multiple rooms. <laughs> I, think I think he's in the other case. Um, and come on. You would know if you had an open Dex. You would know without a doubt. Ooh, there's a gigantic bug in here. Again? Like, yeah. That's Is it another leave, fly? That's why you don't leave your door open. No, it's like a, it's like a daddy long legs flying guy. He's fucking huge. What is oh, going boy. on? And where did ah. you wind up? <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah. Are we going to send ah. someone over? I don't know. Oh, no. Hold on. I'm texting Bobby. Oh, no. Whoa? No. Moynihan. Oh. Oh. He can't actually help you, but he can help make comedy out of it. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't know where he went. God damn it. I bet Robert Woolwood would come over and help you. I bet if, if 
I'm the, sure the signal would. went out. They go like, listen, Patrick needs help. Yeah. I'm sure he would. And then Good he'd God. take you for ice cream. Oh, I would love that. I would love some ice cream. Oh, this battle droid is meant to fall apart. Ah, I got the bug. Got the bug. I got the bug. I got the bug. Here, look at this. Hang on, I'll show you. Look how big this is. So a mosquito, essentially. It's a huge mosquito. Now, what are you going to do about the rest of its family? Uh, well, I'm going to flush him down the toilet. They don't come alone, you know. Well, we'll find out. Ugh. Um, so, how incredible is that as an action? You know, I like him. Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> I love it. And it doesn't lock in place. You're supposed to pull it back and launch it. Yeah. So you have the battle droid there in its grip, and you pull that back, launch it, and it flings the battle droid. Great. Great. He also comes with a, a I guess, a, a ball uh -huh. to do. Sure. You remember. <laughs> it looks like Dooku's Death Star. <laughs> and again, you got that metallic lightsaber. Wow. wow. Look at that. It's not the best Samuel L. Jackson, but they had a hard time with that. Sure. Here we okay, go. Well, let's see this. Let's see this damn deluxe Dooku. Let's see if you had this. I'll tell you right now. No, I did not have this. Oh, with wow. With catapulting action. Wow. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Catapulting 82-year-old Christopher Lee. So, because it is a sh sh shockingly close time to now, mm -hmm. uh, what uh, what are the details for the May the 4th stream? Uh, it'll show? be on Twitch, probably 7 p.m. Eastern, I think. There'll be another Describe-a-thon. We will have guests. We have a couple cool guests. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um... Seal Bibble. Bibble is going to be there, yeah, and uh, we'll be we'll be raising money for our Edinburgh trip, which is always appreciated. Now, um, you, do you simulcast on Twitch and the YouTube channel at the same time? No, just Twitch, because then just I Twitch? I usually we probably should do it on YouTube too, but I sometimes will edit it down or fix stuff on the for thing. the sort of archive version on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, just in case, you know. So um, probably, can you get Rachel to just do uh just be seal bibble the entire night? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> she's been on, she's been on twice in the last three months, so I feel like her the weird again. thing is if you asked. Yeah, no, right. I know. I know. Um oh look at this. You got a wow section of the this thing is heavy. That's and cool. some hoses to attach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. Let's get this plate out of here and out of the way, and then we'll open the figure, and then we're done. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for having me. Thank you, thank you for distracting me from thinking about just how many things I've opened and uh -huh. what I've gotten over the past few years. Yeah, yeah, I get that. It's fun thank though, you. right? It's, it's all good. Thank it's all justified. I look, you're doing great. You're doing great. I just uh, I'll leave a little marker next to the ones that I would like. So. Yeah, no, I'm putting post-it notes. So yeah, yeah. Your name is I'm, on them. We I mean, just look at you know. Once you take them out, it's like, well, that's it. We're all done. You know, my childhood is over. But now you get to display them. Like True. it looks weird just to put a a shiny box with well, all that stuff. But it has some character. You can pose him. You can sit him oh, on the edge of the shelf. Well, right now he's just in a box in the closet. That's what he does now. It, what's yeah. I mean? That Fozzie is so good, though. It's so pretty. 
Now, yeah. sadly, no, it's not him. It's the one in the tux that comes with Chucky, right? And I yeah. don't really like that one as much. But the Chucky. I like the Chucky. Chucky. I like the Chucky. You don't put down the Chucky. No, I do like the Chucky. It's so sad. Uh, do you have the Bear on Patrol one? I also have the I Bear do. on Patrol. I do have the Bear on Patrol. I didn't have this one. This was the one I wanted, but um, I had the Bear on Patrol. You know, I wonder if this is a magnet. This feels very metally and shiny. Like they're all magnets. You know what they say about magnets? What? Oh, no, it was a question. Oh, okay. I don't have an answer to it. <laughs> if anyone in the chat does, feel free. I don't know if anyone's got to. Ooh, there's been a terrible mistake. Come on, Dooku. You know, there's nothing as good as Christopher Lee doing intentional bad acting. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, he is just like, he's the exposition king in this movie. All he does oh, yeah, is like... It's, it's, it's him and the crawl. Are yeah. doing all the heavy yeah. lifting. Yeah. Yeah. What a weird, what a weird movie. Also, what a weird choice just have floaty Obi Wan throughout uh -huh. the entirety of this scene, uh -huh. like in the most weirdly prone sort of floaty way too. Yeah. So I can I can affirm that there are magnets involved because I see magnets on Dooku's feet. Uh huh. Oh, there's so many twist ties. Has anyone done like the world's biggest ball of twist ties? No luck. Is that in the Guinness ball book? Twist ties. Oh yeah. Longest chain of twist ties. Thirteen hundred and nineteen feet. It's eleven thousand three hundred and six twist ties. How many miles is that? Uh. I don't know. See the Not even a mile? You, you type in twist ties and it's twine. It's giving me a lot of twine. Oh, oh he's got like a thin rubber cloth. Oh, yeah. Shirt. No, it's only like it's a fifth of a mile. A mile is 5280. Oh, so there's no effort. No one's even that, trying. That's to. an easily beatable. Yeah. No one's even trying. Where did I put? Okay, so let's see if he just... I'm losing hoses. Emergency powers to the Supreme Chancellor. Shouts of approval. That's how democracy dies. Yeah, thunderous applause. I, it feels like that montage of the various delegations should have gone on longer. Yeah, uh, they also they chickened out by not putting ET in it. Like he's in the first one, put him in the second one too. So I can confirm that this is magnetized. So if anyone could hear the click, wow! Look at that. Man. How's he flip? Make him flip. Oh, now I'm just thinking of a blizzard. I want some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> So the flippy part that connects to there and that goes in the what's it. Okay, so we have a ramp and then I'm assuming that that goes on the edge of here. You know what? I think you're supposed to flip him and then he lands with the magnets in an mm -hmm. action stance. Mm -hmm. I have no desk left. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see what the directions say. Uh, oh yeah, that is actually what you're supposed to. So we'll do one attempt at this. Okay, here we go. This is how we're wrapping up. This is the perfect way to end the show. Oh, so we gotta click it down. Yeah, now it's locked in place. Oh, it's got magnets on the underside of that. So he clicks in with the magnets into there. This is horrifying. Will this work? 
with a ready? Yeah. You can count it down. Three, two, one. <laughs> that we're gonna try one more time. I'll count from five. Maybe that was the problem. Hold on, I gotta pick him up off the the magnets are strong. I'll give it that. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> he's he's locked back into place. I gotta pull backwards on it. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, yeah. oh, Count Dooku! Hey! Oh, and he's got such an old man pose. Oh, well, he broke his knees landing like that. What are you doing to me? Oh, there's been a mistake, a terrible mistake. Well, oh, boy. that was the best way I could think of to wrap this up. I'll think of something better next time. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Everyone, go follow Patrick and all the social media stuff. Uh, check out uh, George Lucas Talk Show. And if you're in the LA area, the uh, the Improv Show. What's the name of the Improv? Untitled Improv Project. Um, pretty much every Sunday night at Dynasty Typewriter. Next Sunday, barring any changes, we have uh, Doug Jones. Oh. From Dan Labyrinth and Shape of Water and all that good stuff is doing monologues and it's going to be very weird and fun. Doug's been on the talk show before, right? Look at that. Uh, no, has not. I am it's my first shocked. interaction with him. I know, I know. Nicest guy. I'm sure uh, would love doing it. Yeah, yeah. That's but I, what I, I'm going to be there. I'll be watching. I'll be opening figures while I watch the live stream on May the 4th. I love it. I love it. So we'll May the 4th, 4th be with be you, fun. Patrick. And, also, and also may a lot of cash on that day be with you as well. Uh, bye, everybody.